doing art and having greasy time. Yeah, unemployment sucks. You just have way too right. much time. Start trying to go down hole and figure shit out. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Uh. That's right. It's Greasy Conversation. Yep. We're back. here with Brian Gibson and Tiffany Salerno. And of course, that's Greg and I'm Waz. Welcome back. Of course. We've got a very special that. episode for you. It's like a season premiere, mid-season, just because there's extra fun planned that I can even tell you about. You're just going to have to experience it in real time. And welcome. Let's start off with the show and tell thing, just so it'll be like off my mind then. All right. So I want to start a show and tell segment where like I show a, a music gadget. Sometimes something I made, sometimes I curated it. Sometimes it might be like an art gadget, maybe, if I run out of music gadgets, but just every week I'm going to show a little thing. This week, I just slapped together, and it was only like three hours. It was so easy. But it was uh, maybe like four or five tinkering it with a little extra afterwards, but like it came together. Um, it's a little delay unit, and let me activate a little bit, and you're going to hear little copies of me coming in. I don't know if you, you guys hear it on the speaker as much as in, in the headphones. But, so we've got little low frequency me's popping in there. Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. So, <laughs> coming at you. Yeah, it's going to do all your voices, holler stuff out at you guys. I don't want to. So, why are you making me talk right now? It's in a can that says Las Vegas playing cards from 1983. Nice. Three, 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 don't, three. don't delay the delay. <laughs> you'll, you'll offend it. Okay. <laughs> so this has got the uh, amount My of delay. My delay isn't good enough for you? <laughs> you put some more delay on the delay. delay no. If you set it really low, it uh, delay. will get really lo-fi too. Really lo too. And this button and makes it like latch. Like latch, like latch, 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 latch. And do like a quick little lo-fi grabby thing. Grabby thing, grabby thing, grabby thing. So it's going to be sick with music. It's also a four-channel mixer. Uh, Damn, dude. And I'll show you the guts of it in the camera as we get into the next How's segment. Four channel mixer? So each mean? of these inputs has a resistor on it, oh, shit, so they don't fight each other. And then there's two outputs there. There's no eighth inch, was. Oh, oh it's did I say mics. quarter inch? I'm sorry. No, no, it's no, no, only no. eighth inch. In my mind, I always think of pedals as a. Yeah, this isn't supposed to be like a pedal. It's USB powered, and you can plug in a bunch of little drum machines and doodads. Those are some details I would have. Yeah, so you can take any random noises and turn it into new age music, basically. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to get more new age, you know? That's right. Like on some Enya shit? Yeah, dude. Oh, you yeah. can do that. Some Enya. Or so dub delay. Kids I can listen to that are recording artists. Or dub. Or dub. Dub. Or dub. Uh. 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 Anyway, so <laughs> as Greg talks about the next segment, I'm going to open the guts and show you guys on the camera. All right, so I thought we could start with some feel-good news. We need some feel-good yeah, news, dude. all right? So this is in, uh, oh, where is it? South Central Illinois. Okay. There's a take your tractor Tour. to school day. <laughs> so it's for, like, high school kids who don't have their license yet, but they can drive their... Uh, if they live, work on a live or work on a farm, they can drive the tractor to school. Yeah. So it gives them a little taste of a uh, little taste of that freedom all teenagers crave. I like that. That does make me freedom. feel good. Right? Yeah. It's not like shit's going to hell. No, dude, that's great. Right? At first, I was Wait, like, they're was going to school though. Yeah, it's t it's like a. It's like coronavirus, right? <laughs> so wouldn't that be void? <laughs> no, this was this was. Uh, okay, a while ago. Yeah. This was just all before right. it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, they even mentioned they even mentioned that in the article that it was uh, all f news that they did just before pre pandy Back when school existed. Yeah. And yeah. Then, but they're releasing it now to enjoy. They just slept on editing it at first. Dude, they're talking about making school like no more show up at a building. Just hey, we could do this online. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I I heard a lot of things could do that. Yeah. There's a certain amount of social interaction that you still want to get though to have everyone not turn out like all home homeschooly, you know. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that earlier. Like, dude, you can be kind of weird if you don't get that contact, you know? There's homeschool people that get that contact, and they yeah. all right. But it's, it's something you got to make sure happens. It's like an extracurricular thing is like human contact. In totally. Yeah. All right. Maybe some people need that. Yeah. I don't know why Cox, like, just, like, 
has great internet all day until the moment I try to start these two streams. Mm -hmm. I think that they're like shadow banning me or something for doing <laughs> the two streams at once. Yeah. But I'm going to go replug the router in solidarity and anger at them. Like to me, that's like telling them, F you, I'm going to unplug your unit and plug it back in if you're going to yeah. uh, mess with me like that. That's now, the I radio think. shows, if you're doing a radio show with Radio Vegas rocks, or even just streaming from the one unit, this never happens. It's just a curse for me, apparently. Yeah, but I think true. it's because of doing the concurrent streams. So I might mm -hmm. just stream on my own thing next week and see if that's the deal. Or even try that now, sadly, um, to this stream, folks. I think I might uh, not stream through you this week. I'm sorry. So this is the Radio Vegas Rocks YouTube, which is awesome YouTube, and there's other shows that stream on it that are awesome and never have this problem for some yeah. reason. So I'm going to see if they're cool with me if I just do the one stream. You're shadow banning because you guys are telling the real news. I'm dude. shadow banning <laughs> them if they're going to shadow ban me. Anyway, so it looks like we're back already. It was just a quick one. Tight. Um, and so it Sweet. might be split into two videos, but... I've been uploading a concurrent video if it's not the case, or I just might part one, part two it. It's I only been 11 to. minutes. Probably just going to throw away what we said the first 11 minutes. Yeah, well, like, it's here yeah, in my phone. It's world. in your phone. Here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's like the podcast is always going to have the full thing on YouTube, so you'll yeah. have the most uh, hidden cuts and stuff. That's right. I just realized watching. a lot of this 11 minutes on this stream was just cold open. Oh, and maybe me talking about the doodle, so I'll rename it about the delay stream thing. I'm talking to you guys about my production online on the thing. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. hey, part the curtain, right? We're, we're doing it together. Mm -hmm. Solidarity. Teamwork and then safety first. Alone though. together. Okay. Alone so together. Let me pull up those dang tractors. I'm going to start start to stop freaking out and let you look at the tractors that we are just talking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not super exciting. It sounds but relaxing. Oh, it's, dude, it does seem relaxing. like way... At first, I was like all my cynical asshole self that I usually am, and I'm like... Oh yeah, fucking driving tractors to school. <laughs> it's fucking lame. Loser. I, was, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, you know, that's probably not bad, and I'm just a dick. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. In your mind, I feel like you're on a tractor. What yeah. did you think about? You're like, because okay. I, I remember it, uh, when I was a kid. We lived in like upstate New York, and my dad had a tractor. We, you know, mow the big lawns. I yeah, used to ride so around in that, and like loved it as a kid. So I can, I was yeah. just being an asshole. You're probably just jealous. You're like I projecting was. your exactly. Yeah. Teens and tractors, tractors and teenagers. A tractor is the huge fucking farm thing that like it's It's a farm thing. It's like a huge truck that they just like they put tools on them. This is great because there's audio listeners right now and we can't neglect yeah, them with our descriptions. Them go there, so the, there's often a back that? wheel that's a really big on yes. side. and then little wheels in the front that don't matter as much because the back wheel's doing all the And you things. can use it to like tow things or you till the till the fields. Yeah, often it's used to oh, tow it. Like, tow, tow the fields. Machinery. Yeah. yeah. And tools and stuff. A big yep. yellow one though. <laughs> Usually in my mind. They're yellow. I saw I saw or red. Pictures. Yeah. These ones or are, green. are green, sorry. Yeah, or green. So we don't John, want to miss John leisure. They're orange. <laughs> and, like, John Maybe a I saw, I saw a pink one <laughs> one time. There's, there's pink. They exist. I've Purple. definitely seen a blue one. Yeah. Did you guys know that Lamborghini started out as a tractor company? Shit, I, I did didn't not. know that. Yeah, and Mr. Lamborghini got into a little argument after buying a Ferrari. And he smashed and his, a tractor. His clutch broke twice. Oh, shit. And he's like... Why does your clutch keep breaking? I could design a better tra tra clutch than this. I make giant ones for big tractors, and they ain't breaking. They're doing the Lord's work, yeah. towing the fields, towing the fields. Fucking car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, after that argument, and, and then of course Ferrari says, "No, you're driving it right. Uh, I'm driving it wrong. It's your bad driving that's breaking the clutch. If you drove it right, the clutch wouldn't break." And he's like. There's no such thing. The clutch should put up with whatever. Yeah. I, I know how to freaking drive. I build tractors. Mm. So in spite, he created Lamborghini, the sports car company. That's what life is about. Spite, yeah. you know? Totally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Success through spite, spite, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you were telling me earlier. Like, dude, just, you know, if you're mad, just use it. This is fun. I love this, like, topic. So the thing with that is that lot, lots of times you'll be wrestling with feelings and, yeah. like, wrestling with, like, disappointment in yourself as an artist and, like, how far you've done it or gone or not gone. Yeah, and, and you're not heard by enough people or whatever. Yeah, and, and comparing yourself this. to others. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure. So what I like to do is try to just like fully embrace that and fully go like, yes, I do feel that way. I am jealous of this person and just like take a big bite out of it in my mind. And um, 
and like really embrace where I am. And then through that, I tend to like start just intrinsically seeing like what I have done, what I am proud of and where I am and be proud of that just in the process of getting tired from making myself chew on like this yeah. stuff that I'm not. It makes me really like when I take a good big bite of it, I think of all the crap that they have to deal with with labels or other people tell them what to do or personal yeah, time and freedom they had to give up and like things that I got to do as an artist that don't relate to music for example as like a technological do the gizmos thing guy and how proud I am of that and how I wouldn't have had that time if I was like touring or something yeah. and so I, I realized I wouldn't have given up I'm happy I didn't give up what I had to give up to have these things these other people have yeah it's better to be self managed and we all I feel like everyone starting out in a band is like, dude, I want to fucking make it. I want to be on a label. Like, you you do get better as a musician, like, to skill and craftsmanship. It becomes quicker and better and cleaner, but you lose a lot of your life. You're right. You know, a lot of, like, grassroots stuff, you know? Yeah, I think it's okay to do a handful of things yeah. still. Uh, well, <laughs> I heard someone put it like, I used to want the world to know who I was, and now I just want to know who I am. Like as you get Whoa. older, yeah, dude, that's, that's a like, solid fuck, point. Man, shut up. Because I definitely, <laughs> definitely had that transformation of yeah. uh, not caring so much about like the number of people that know who I am or whatever, and yeah. being more excited about having a neat connection and sharing something important to me to someone else. That that same thing is important, like yeah. nourishing the cult, really helping out of... my brothers and sisters in certain uh, hobbies and certain groups and like really like my uh, click first yeah. and being right. there for people like I've had people be there for me as an artist and in creating things and such and yeah. like so that community situation is more delicious than like just a bigger shallower less connected community yeah like Even my homies right. versus this whole city or whatever there's like a give and take there's a I've had a lot of low key victories you know and yeah. I it's hard to brag about them online via Facebook or Instagram because you seem like a fuck you're that person you kind of don't like everyone has that like oh this person's fucking waxing poetically about I think you can celebrate with people though something that you're proud of and share it with them without it being bragging yes. depending on how often you do it too yeah exactly because I have a lot of a lot of low key wins you know I'm proud of a lot of things I've done because totally. I haven't done a lot of shit <laughs> you know you and so what though. I'm doing I'm resetting yeah. the router real quick. Oh, you're good. Are we off? No, I mean, kind of. Kind of? All right. We're, like, probably only one of the streams or whatever. Yeah. No, I have to uh, actually see, and you post a lot of your art stuff. Yeah. Like, probably, I don't know, eight months, a year ago, something, like, inspired yeah. me to start doing art again. Really? So, yeah, totally, man. Dude, that's sick. That means that's another low-key win for me. Yeah, know? right. I get to go home and just kind of sit on that, you know? Yeah. Just Keep like, doing it, man. Do? Yeah. And I like you guys' podcast a lot, dude. Thanks, man. I say that every time, but it's just fucking cool. And I got this place. Yeah, it's a right. cool little kick, the new kicker studio. Yeah, dude. It's clean. Hell yeah. It's like a, what is it? Not the Jigsaw, not Jenga. What are those oh, like old? Lincoln Logs? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it looks, they're fucking linked up and shit, you know? Yeah, right it looks kind of dope. It would fit. be cool to to get like a little house like this, like yeah. a tiny house mm -hmm. style. It seems big enough. I mean, throw a, a little yeah. bathroom on this mug. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so Jay said the internet's been going out all day today, which we was doing last Sunday. Yeah, Which oddly. at this point, I'm so effing done with Cox, and I have no option. Yeah. And we're paying them the most. We're giving the, the most you can give to Cox, we're giving to them at the, for this goddamn situation. And uh, I'm happy it doesn't mess you up anyone else's any shows. We haven't had any other live shows today, but it seems like Sunday is, like, cursed. A lot of our shows are done from outside of this building, too. But we're recording it. It's going to be on YouTube. That's how you're seeing it right now, I'm sure. And uh, I'll just get over it. But <laughs> then yep. most people yep. see it recorded anyway. But, yeah, just it hurts to, like, be stuck with this monopolistic bullshit and have no other options um, for, like, this kind of That's bandwidth. Insane. It's yeah. just it's really messed up. I went, we went through the same thing with day trading. Um, yep. We tried to day trade on, on Cox, and we had, like, a business account, same expensive account, and there was just no concern about it being, like, out all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't so. care. That's and we're crazy. in the middle of town, too. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. They're getting your money. They don't care. But, I mean, that, so that's the end of my complaint about that. So <laughs> that, that's my self-indulgent moment because I'm upset now. But... I'm still have I'm still having so much fun news to crawl around in, man. I can't stay upset with all these nuggets. How about? So, uh, I really need to put them on here. 
I like to elaborate on each news thing. I notice no one else does that on your show. Oh, no well, I stop you and go, whoa, dude. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I like, interpret it. We've had a string of some really great guests helping us react to things, okay. I have to say. Okay, the, good. The, 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 I want to make sure I'm not like... You know. oh, no, but do you were ahead of the game is the thing, and understanding cool. the, the joy of our it's format and reacting yeah. to things with one another. Yeah, I would just love to, to be able to have more of the chat interaction with the live thing, but that's okay, because you guys can comment later. That and happens. you really can influence the show and kind of make it your own by hitting yeah. me up on whatever the social medias you are near you. You're on Twitch. And yeah, Twitch. I, I I'm not going to notice you hitting me up on Twitch after the fact, though. I don't know about <laughs> Twitch, but I just know. Twitch is all right. I hate it, but like. I hate it, dude. It's like ADD times. YouTube a comments. Whoa. We have blown up on Facebook in proportion to our YouTube, to cool. put it optimistically, as a way of saying that our YouTube struggles compared to <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. So uh, any attention you could give to the old tube, which is where the replay is going to be posted on the site, when we post it on the site, that's great. And like a little, um, maybe a review on iTunes, because we've got that iTunes format going on, Spotify. So there's ways you can community up with us so that we can maintain this bond that we have together in spite of troubled times in the airwaves. To so, say it lightly. How about on that note, we'll see you again soon. Are you going to play paint jams? You should show the video. No. Yeah. How, oh, paint how, jams? How about some poop news? Yeah. She did some. I had an idea. And I, um, What's paint a, jams? Created paint jams. Um, the concept is Brian paints, and then we have a musical guest just jamming in the background. Oh, I love this. That'd I want to awesome. do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. That's such a great Definitely. stream idea. And yeah, I want to make it now better. Now that everybody's out of quarantine, we need more people to come and do more episodes. I would like paint jams. I haven't thought of anyone great, but I love when people just show up out of nowhere what? and do something cool. Well, what's There's great so about this, many great people. it's pandy compatible <laughs> because you don't have to be, like, coughing at each other to do that. Yeah, I won't. Yeah, cough even on in the anybody. video, there's like social distancing. Brandon's like <laughs> six feet away. Yeah, yeah and it's awesome. You just jam in the background, and Brian's being uh, cute and adorable and funny oh and yeah. painting. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I, I enjoy you watching you paint particularly. Thanks. But yeah, you should play that intro. I'm really proud of that intro. Oh, he, this lo he looks really good. It's very flattering. We, we probably need to link it on the bottom because people won't hear it if oh, I play okay. it here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's but pretty tight though. But yeah, I want to keep uh, expanding on that. I think it's a good concept. Wait a minute, where I can I find it? Feedback. YouTube. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> Brian search Gibson. For it, abstract, uh, Brian Paint Gibson Jams, abstract. episode one. Paint Jams, Brian Gibson. Yeah. I don't know, it shows up under my account too. Yeah. I've been doing this like low key because this guy from Brooklyn, like I was telling you, just pays me. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, he's we were like, already doing nice those guy. videos, so I thought, yeah. let's try this idea I have. Which involves oh, is this, music. Is this the yeah, that's, it. that's the one. So I give Buddha makeup in acrylic paint form. Actually, it's really cool. Actually, I'm gonna I can pipe a little bit of sound from it. Oh yeah, it's wax yeah. pig melting my. Uh, so you will hear it in the room, but I'm I'm yeah, piping a little sound. Oh, it's wax pig, cool. Yeah, wax pig. And there's Brandon from Canuck. So I'm only gonna let it play a couple chunks because your account might auto flag me, even though I know you're not gonna really? like take my channel down. Nice. Dang, this looks crisp. I take this as zero video. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And my sweet yeah. iMovie editing. Look at that makeup. Oh, right? I still edit with iMovie and I own Final Cut. Sometimes it's just faster. But this depth of field. Uh, yeah. It's pretty dope, man. She does nice work. I got a music video out of her. <laughs> like I conned her. Yes. Yeah, I got a music video, guys. I need to do more videos, so any band yeah. that wants to hit me like up, you know, experiment with me, it's for free, obviously. Dude, I see your work okay, everywhere, so though, like sure, Mercy yeah. Music. I know Mercy and Music's Astrid been using it a lot. I'm so, I love those guys so yeah, much. Yeah, Astrodome awesome. Records is like using your shit. I'm like, yeah. damn, that's a cool photo, and it's your fucking yeah, credit. And I haven't it's been awesome. doing work lately, and I've been bummed, so it's nice to see people, like, you know, tagging me. <laughs> like, oh, I was a thing in a minute ago. <laughs> That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm washed up. I'm like, I don't even care about trying anymore. Well, you're going right practice. back to exactly the feeling I was describing. Mm -hmm. That washed up feeling can be delicious. Yeah, it is. It can be, like, I'm freeing. And then the funny I'm thing eating is... eating and chilling now. <laughs> well, every time that instead of, like, struggling with feeling washed up, I just went like, yes, I'm entirely as washed up as I think I am. Yeah, just it's took time a for a new it. wave. It kind of <laughs> makes my mind, I don't know if this works for everybody, but it makes my mind kind of laugh at it, like taken to that extreme. Like, 
it uh, drops the seriousness. Yeah, yeah. I, f I feel like um, it makes me start consoling myself and saying, pointing out things that are not washed up like yeah. about myself. And just thinking about the concept of washed up at all is just like comical. Well, people change, though. You know, I've yeah. had to accept that about myself. Like, I was, I was like, man, I'm going to do another album. I'm yeah. fucking do it. And it's like I never got to do those things, and it's still in me, you know? When I picture the you proverbial... You get busy and priorities change and you're yeah, getting lighter, yeah. it's more complicated. Yeah. And, well, yeah. When I picture the proverbial washed up person, it's in my head always someone that did cool stuff and is still someone admirable. So it'd yeah. be like an honor yeah, yeah. to be washed up, really. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, so the to more be embrace that, To I'm be like, washed up, you'd have to have done enough cool shit that yeah. like, you could be washed up. A flash exactly. in the pan is still something to look at, I guess. So. Yeah. And when it's cool when the people like... I, I like to look at Black Camaro and fucking all these weird little nuggets of, you know what I mean? Downtown culture of mm -hmm. Vegas, like bands and artists from like back then. Because back then it was like raw, dude. Like we didn't have, I don't know, dude, the Arch Factory was just being born and Alex Huerta was doing his painters on the patio thing and everybody was just mingling and certain bands did this and other people did this and I'm doing this and it's fucking crazy. Just totally. looking back. Yeah. It's fun though. It's a good life. <laughs> A beautiful ride to a quote. What the fuck is that? Walk hard. It's a beautiful <laughs> ride. So yeah, I have to say that like uh, that embracing where you feel like you are as an artist is like when you like that whole finding yourself thing more. Ah, when you're self-aware and like in the moment, that's the best way. Mm. Present, I guess. Kind of wallowing was going to try to synopsisize, and then it turned wallowy. Ah, so why don't we take a look at one more little. <laughs> news dive moment thing and before we go to Bob Thornton hour. Alright. Alright, we got some poop news. Everyone loves poop news. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't lose that earlier segue that you I heard that. Yeah, yeah. So I heard this is uh, a pig farm in England was started on fire by a pig, which sounds crazy, but <laughs> it's true. It's because it had swallowed a pedometer that was worn by one of the other pigs that just demonstrates that the pigs are free range, so someone could like look up and see that the pigs wander all over the place. Yeah. So it crapped out the pedometer, and it shorted, and caught a couple pig pens on fire. Damn, dude. And that's it. Yeah. Barbecue. <laughs> right. <laughs> Much bacon yeah. was to be had, man. Yeah. So. Sounds great. Yeah. I always love stories like that, Sorry, where like animals terrible. just. Uh, Inadvertently start like yeah, it's like an it's arsonist. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> They're like looking for some dude. Animal They're farm. Like the pig, like the pig politics. pen, the pig pen arsonist. Yeah. Do you guys see on your it's screen like the, the picture of the pig that they use? The stock photo they use. Oh used yeah, the top. Like, yeah, he's all looking. Uh, all cute. Nice, dude. He's That's like, sick. I know I did it, but I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 like the South Park thing. We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's very cute. It's right. A cute pig. Excellent. Shout out Wax Pig Melting. Oh, yeah. I was waiting <laughs> for that, honestly. That, when I saw the pig, I was like, God damn it, don't, don't reference that. All right. I love it, and I, it's weird every time Wax Pig Melting. Hey, our first Bob Thornton Some segment fan. is uh, celebrating five years of Radio Vegas Rocks. We've been doing this station thing for five years. It's nice. a great place to uh, do a station podcast stuff. and stream and stuff, too. And... <laughs> As long as it's not on Sunday, apparently. Thanks, Cox. <laughs> but no, you get a recording, too, to post as a podcast. So if you're going to do a podcast anyway, which most of them aren't live, it's a good way to be able to broadcast it, get live interaction, get some live views, and then post the final thing on your website as a podcast. It's a combo attack then. Because this is really mainly a podcast format, and the visual stuff isn't even strictly necessary as I try to describe it to folks so you can hang out with you, drive, clean the kitchen. The co accompaniment media it's not media designed to just demand your whole attention even though it can accommodate your whole attention. I love so that. So that's the vision and that's what the radio station supports is a new form of media that uh, I'm really proud of. So here's some other folks proud of it too, including Ange Kerfoot. Check this out. Happy fifth birthday, Radio Vegas Rocks. This is Ange Kerfoot. I am in the drive through line at New Woo uh, Cannabis Store right now. And I just thought I would call in and tell you guys happy fifth and that you're a bunch of cunts. Later. Hey, it's Dennis Mitchell, host of Breakfast with the Beatles here on Radio Vegas Rocks, and I just want to take a moment to congratulate Crazy Jay on five years of keeping Vegas rocking with one very cool radio station. 
I met up with Jay just before we put it on the air, and we've been close friends ever since. So much so, he brought back the great online station LV Classic Rock, which we just recently rebranded to High Quality Rock. So hats off to you, Jay, not only on five years of keeping us rocking with Radio Vegas Rocks, but for offering two fantastic stations that Las Vegas desperately needs. Thank you, Jay. And here's to many, many more. Hey ladies, when it's not raining men, it's always raining tacos at Juan's, Flaming Fajitas, and Cantina during their daily happy hour from 3 to 7. If things get a little too hot from their authentic Flaming Fajitas, you can visit their outdoor dining area and cool down with Juan or Dos Corona Ritas. If you're feeling spicy, be sure to order one of my personal favorites, their fresh tableside guacamole, which goes perfectly with their homemade chips and salsa for one or two. Visit Juan's Flaming Fajitas and Cantina on Facebook or in the real world at 9640 West Tropicana. Proud supporter of the Rock and Comedy Show for two years and counting. Big or small, they do them all. It's Motor Mission, family owned and operated machine and radiator shop. At Motor Mission, they offer complete radiator rod and repairing, rebuilding, replacements, and manufacturing all in house. They also provide complete machine shop services, including engine rebuilding, valve jobs, surfacing, milling, boring, honing, balancing, thermal cleaning, blasting, hot tanking, broken bolt removal, antique restoration, and much more. If you need a custom radiator with electric fans and a fan shroud built for your custom project, they can do that too. Motor Mission works on anything foreign and domestic for autos, industrials, RVs, heavy equipment, power sports, antiques, marine, racing, street rods, hot rods, stationary gen sets or power units, and large mining equipment. Motor Mission is at 5435 Desert Point Drive. Call 702-649-2366 or visit MotorMission.com. Be sure to get your mix of music, listen to us with the RadioVegas.rocks app available at the App Store, and check out our VIP card, interact with us in our chat room, and scheduling of our RadioVegas.rocks shows, plus podcasts. It's all available on RadioVegas.rocks app. That's right. The app even runs in the background on your phone if you uh, want to do stuff while you're apping it up. There's a great classic rock on here, too. Um, Breakfast with the Beatles. There's a replay every week on RadioVegas.rocks. I know because I put it there on that gosh darn website. Myself with my own uh, clumpy paws on the keyboard, bashing around. Clumpy paws. I'm sticking by that. That stays. Anyway, you're welcome back. It's Greasy Conversation. We've got more news to react to. Uh. Na 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 na. It's singular greasy conversation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Only one. Yeah. That All encompassing. My social. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's an, a, it's aggrandizing to pluralize it. I can only be honored. I love that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can only honor me by uh, duplicating me grammatically. You're a writer, Walt. I've always <laughs> thought of you for your words. Thanks. You I know really what? Have. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Likewise, of course. Thanks. I, um, I talk a lot. I will write more since you said that. No, seriously, that'd be really cool. Like short little nuggets. Well, especially if I do. Bonus winter was like one of my favorite. Bonus winter. What the fuck? It's so simple and minimalistic. I love that. Anyways. Yeah, well, we had bonus okay, this winter is this an year. Inside thing. What? Yeah. Right. I just posted. It was in the midst of the Roni when it was rolling in, so you could tell that was the context I was talking about, and I just said bonus winter. It was really cold for a long time. Oh. In, earlier this year, remember? Yeah. When it was just like absurdly cold for like fucking April, and yeah, he was. I just woke up and there was a like bonus winter. I'm like, that's genius. <laughs> this is a simple, delightful thing. So thanks for that, Waz. Especially two word combos is a running theme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Awesome. Well, the thing is, I need to write more and then have it be some dialogue and just yeah. film some dialoguey content because that seems like to that's what people where I do the best. Either like when I steer hard dialogue. Or um, the music pieces. The music yeah. pieces do well by the numbers. Yeah, so I need I, to do like those two. Your orphan <laughs> sounds. Just hard. Just do spoken word. Like, dude, I loved. I looked up Grease Combo on um, Spotify, and it's like your band shit. I'm like, damn, that was tied too. You know what? Thanks. It's nice looking at old shit. It is from the community. That's some good wallowing. Yeah, it is. But anyways, we can move on. <laughs> I <ran as> well. <laughs> damn. How about we how about we jump into your eBay finds, Waz? Oh, oh nice. I, I love how much we're front-loading this episode because there's some great stuff, but we 
are digging in some of my favor right away. I'm, I'm so stoked about this uh, eBay uh, feed. eBay is my new favorite social media. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding the coolest what? stuff on here. Well, get this. Okay. I hope they're like letters and bottles on eBay that you have to buy. Oh my gosh. Like super no one bought it yet, Greg. Okay, you guys. I found on eBay Whoa. a six finger monkey paw mummified. Well, there's 10 available. How many? They killed five monkeys. Hey, it's, it's, a, it's oh. a business, man. <laughs> yeah. It's a business. Dude. Wait a More minute. Numbers. I, you know, That's it insane, says though. medical oddity specimen. I really thought this was a real rare monkey that just rarely grew with an extra paw. Is it an art finger? piece or is it an actual artifact? Or? You know, I think it'll grant you, wishes either way. It's probably yeah, not as good dude. a wishes. You just have to, like, believe yeah, hard dude, enough, seriously. you know? Yeah. Like, if you believe enough then anything is is possible yeah dude like shazam or right. whatever that yeah, thing I mean, is yeah i don't okay. know that's what, what that you gotta means. say too you gotta shazam say shazam <laughs> so your purchase supports you an artist yeah. that's great that's probably why the price is so low i almost bought it thinking i could really like i think wish i still might man I, f I feel like drawn to it like i don't know why <laughs> i feel drawn to well, it well you get an extra wish that's why it's yeah. obvious why yeah. <laughs> i need this like tomorrow does it have like immediate Shipping? Well, you don't need it in a hurry. That's bad luck. So, oh, yeah. Because you're, you're right. making humans, like, work harder to get it to you and, like, fret on it and not, like, Dude, then they get extra magic I don't mean to be your magic off again, of but it. that's really interesting that you said, you know, it's not good to do that because getting wishes, you know, the monkey's paw thing is all about, okay, your son gets a job like you're praying for the monkey thing, but then he fucking gets killed. Exactly. And then you get a bunch of money, and that's how you get the money that you wanted. It's like, whoa. These whoa. wishes aren't black and white. It's fucked up. Uh, the, the wishes have a whole gradient in how successful and how well they can turn out for you. Yeah, it's like black magic, right? Kind of. How, you know, the you, blackest. You have to be extremely, <laughs> extremely specific. Mm. All right? In your Make, wishes. Making monkey paw wishes is a skill. Yeah. yeah. And, and even art if you're, form, some would say. Even if you're super specific and you go about it the wrong way, That'd you rush the shipping, you, you, uh, <laughs> you're you impolite the to the mailman. Yeah. 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 yeah, you... you do bad things on your way there. You don't uh, look at it. Trip yeah. on the neighbor's dog and, and don't oh, pet shit. it. Sorry. You gotta like wish for things you don't want to happen. You know, like I don't want to trip on the dog. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those are your real wishes yeah. right there. They're gonna protect your ass. You have to use at least one of the wishes. Um, the first one, if you're daring, to yeah. like give back <laughs> to the, the dark entities that are carrying out your bidding. That's so serious. like as you. And they, they always show on the TV the, the finger curling on its own. Oh, That's shit. That's baloney. Yeah. You have to curl the finger. Yeah. It's, so as you curl the finger. Mortis. Yeah. So you have yeah. To... It usually cracks off. So <laughs> as you're curling the finger. Second mistake. Um, yeah. You want to. It's okay if it's as it's cracking off or even right after it cracks off that you finish really orchestrating the wish. And you can't yeah. just like think it. No one's going to hear your thoughts that clearly in a, as well as they Definitely would. Definitely not God. If you scream them at the sky. Yeah. So that's the other thing people are doing wrong with the monkey paws. They're not they're screaming not. at the sky. Yeah, no. Third mistake. No, you have to. Don't worry about what your neighbors think. It's your fucking monkey paw, yeah, not dude, theirs. This is your house, your you, rental. Yeah. You go <laughs> on the back balcony. You go by the by the dog park or whatever. This is your Sonic drive through That's right. <laughs> Sonic drive through See, that's a bad place to do it because yeah, of it that is. bad juju. That's your fourth mistake right there. The more humans hear your wish and frown about it, the more the dark forces are going to feel embarrassed to carry out your wish. Yeah, dude, they're you're like, kind of serious, though, so, like, yeah. the dark forces. It's, like, real shit. They're going to be like, like, oh, all these drive through people know about me? Yeah, That's dude. lame. They don't want to be hip. shit, yeah, normies yeah, exactly. can't know. Yeah, so if you make these um, <laughs> invisible demons uh, feel like normie junk, they're yeah. not going to carry out your bidding. Yeah, it has to say a deep cut of philosophy, you know? Yeah. A the deepest cut, all that stuff. We shouldn't even be talking about it, really. In, well, the thing is, the we monkey can. paw thing, you Thanks. can really... Are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you I can make deep. your own monkey paw with, like, uh, carrots and a glove. As long as you're breaking <laughs> fingers. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, Absolutely was. Because the, the demons see the gesture. It just makes sense. Yeah. yeah. The, the, looming, the yeah. looming entities following you around. Um, like a shrunken head? Yeah. <laughs> the... A watermelon first. I don't know. They just want to see the gesture. Yeah, dude, just try. It's like <laughs> Cain and Abel, you know? Like, God loved Abel, I believe. And Cain was all jealous, like, dude, I'm giving you some stuff. And Abel was, like, giving him his fucking sheep and all this stuff to God. And then Cain was all, like, I'm giving you stuff. But he wasn't really trying, so, like, God yeah. ended up, like, I don't know. No, Cain got jealous of Abel, 
It's like the van thing we were talking about. <laughs> you know? Anyways, dude, I don't mean to get into biblical shit. Never mind. Well, no, the relates because, say, uh, you gotta someone wants to Sacrifice. give something to God. Nah, they should, if it. they're really thinking about it, give something to someone else. There are another shallow person. gestures, though. Because if yeah. you just leave it in a field to rot, God's not picking it up. There's yeah, no God that's going to grab that and, like, straight enjoy up. it. Yeah. You got to give it to another entity. Because the yeah. way I look at it, it's the, the only God that Oops. we can really scientifically measure and see doing stuff is the plants. one that arises plants. Oh, shit. Okay, you're right. Dude, no, there's a are couple. Trippy, bro. I'm not mind. even going there, though. I keep doing that. So my favorite one. No, you're right. So seriously, I can't argue with that. Plants are yeah. a hell of... But this Our is God. related. Plants are God. Yeah, especially to themselves and each other. The Dude, plant, yeah. Plant, uh, the, that whole plant level. Yeah. But, so my point was that the community that people form and when people work together as groups, there's a deity that occurs from that. Yeah. There's divine it's action bigger, that can't yeah. can't take place by any one person doing it. Like no one person can build a jet airliner or a hospital. And all these things do miracles. Yeah. But they're only possible with a community getting together, support systems, yeah, the like, things that rescue you uh, in a people, divine way. Elon Musk are all saying, societal. Yeah, it's like one person can do a lot, right? But an assembly line, people working together yeah. can do so fucking much more. You yeah. know, because they work as a system. And we only have this system, our, like, hands and feet and our fucking language. So society <laughs> functions like a like a deity. And therefore, if you go in the backyard and break carrot and hands... And yell at the sky. Yell at the sky. What it's going to do is put that d the intention in you. And your subconscious is going to yeah. look for it as you go about your day. That's, You're going to be like, uh, that dude's doing what I was screaming at the monkey paw about. Um, I'm going to make friends with them and become a better auto mechanic or whatever you need yeah. in life. Dude, what you're saying sounded like a joke, sort of. There was funny things about it. It wasn't <laughs> to be funny, but it's super serious, man. Yeah. Like, go and yell at the sky. But not like that, metaphorically, you mm -hmm. know? For sure. Yeah. All you right. can definitely me metaphorically yell at the sky and get the job done. Or like a pillow or talk to it. a pet. <laughs> yeah. You just do it for real. You just actually do the <laughs> thing instead of doing all this avoidance behavior. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's so many subtle, so, like, defecting, defector fucking yeah, shit like, in our minds, you know, subconsciously. There's a task I really want to get done, and no matter how much I want to get it done, I don't want to start it. Yeah, seriously. And I think that some can of beer or this particular weed is going to do the job for me. Oh, yeah. It rarely does. No, it never does for me. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm going to have a few beers, I'm on a good night. I usually say I'm getting, like, kind of grumpy and, like... I can't, I can't believe today. And you then it's I mean? an excuse to not start it again. Yeah. And you Even though it was what I did to try shit. to start it. Yeah. When I smoke weed, I start thinking about all this stuff. I'm bringing out like plants, dude. Plants are God. <laughs> like, man. I love it, though. That's why I go there. Wow. It's a, it's a place to visit, not to stay. That's place right. to visit, not to you stay. You told me that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. No, for sure. Uh, you bring back a souvenir and all, but you don't poop? want to wall up. Monk, monkey from? paw for president. Okay. Yeah. Monkey paw. <laughs> Hey, that'd be pretty good. Six wishes. Yeah, give I me some wishes, that. you guys. Let's talk about some of your monkey paw moments. Let's cease the riots. What do you yell at the sky? <laughs> man, I can't about. even talk, man. I, I would just want like peace and quiet, even though I have peace and quiet already. Yeah. I just want like more, more. I just want to know that like more peace and quiet exists in my general yeah. vicinity, and then like something terrible, like a, no, nah, something terrible would happen and wipe everyone out. So they make like, it so peaceful. Yeah. So you have to ask for like a little bit more peace and quiet. Like yeah, just turn just up the tad. peace and quiet slightly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I want the void to start staring back at me, please. <laughs> small ask, small consequences. That's your monkey paw philosophy. Yeah. So if right. you don't ask too grandiose of things, you won't mess up too grandiose of things. Yeah. Little bites, little this chips, just chip away every day. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you take one step towards your goal every day, you'll wake up a lot closer there, even if you have a couple days where you roll backwards. You have that subtle smile where you're like, oh, shoot, I'm kind of happy right now. You know <laughs> what I mean? You're like, oh, That's the monkey paw moment. You, the, the monkey, monkey paw, paw moment. The monkey paw has been inside of you all along. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Gripping, grabbing at your organs, squeezing. Right. Mm -hmm. I took it too far. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I've been taking it way too far, and I love it. Now, what do you have I'd, next? I'd wish time? also... Also, you have this. What I would also wish for is a... I'm leaving remote, this tab remote up. Remote control pillow. What? 
It's a, it's a, Does it flop it's a itself? remote control pillow. Does it fuck itself? <laughs> Does it flop no, itself? No, it controls the TV. I had to repeat that. Oh, it's okay, okay. So great. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? you know, <laughs> it like turns <laughs> itself over. I want a pillow that fucks itself. <laughs> so no, it's remote fuck, control, it's, uh, so I don't need to be near it. Yeah. But what's the flop. only thing I would want to be near it for? No. Well, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a remote control and a pillow so that your TV goes nuts when you try to lie down. Tight. This is yeah. another eBay moment that I'm like, why is this? Dude, it seems like such a fun idea until the execution. My friend Glenn has, he's like, my wife makes these steak knives, bro. Here, have a uh, couple uh, of boxes. I'm like, what? So yeah, she made a lot of money on eBay through that. She makes like, that's this world. I so guess. many steak knives that you yeah. can have like a box There's them? cutlery. There's like six of the box. She makes them? But and like, she sells them on eBay. I don't know. Does she she like manufactures them she's somehow. Like a oh. She's like the middleman, you know? Like, hey, give me these steak knives. That's Here you go. But they still happen. It's no, like, it's not. Not the way she does it. Knife making is an art. Yeah, it is. It is, yeah. but maybe these were artistically designed, but then built <laughs> with only craftsmanship. <laughs> like China, I swear the, to God. The craftsmanship. If it's a pyramid of scheme and she's just selling them. No. That's different. I don't know. People with businesses are smart. I noticed in landscaping, I was like, dude, we started doing it low. And I was like, wait, I can itemize everything. And then that truly shows me that I'm serious and numb. It just emits that, you know? If you know you're serious about something, itemizing people is sick. just fucking, yeah, itemizing is dope as fuck. Making lists, Instead I feel of like, like 200 bucks for the whole thing, be like, all right, well, this is going to be 50. You avoid scope creep way more then. Have yeah. you dealt with scope creep yet? Where they just. What the fuck is scope creep? Scope creep is where the scope of your job creeps larger because new things appear that need to get done oh, dude, that the client assumes was, was part of what you yeah, the uh, intended. This lady had a sprinkler. She's like, yeah, fix that. And we had to shut up like the water to her house. We're like, yeah. fuck, dude, what do we do? Like, it ended up being more out. work than you intended, yeah. <laughs> like, Damn. we're gardeners, man. Like, we didn't <laughs> ask to fix your sprinkler. Being a aware of scope creep and having methods of dealing with it is yeah. such a big deal. That's you know interesting, scope no, creep. Right. Yeah. Know how to yeah. say no or how to say, I'm sorry, that wasn't part of what we quoted. Yeah. And all of what we quoted is in writing, and you'll see it's not included in that. So I'm sorry if you felt that it was intrinsically included. But with this much work involved, I need to charge you for this separately. Yeah, absolutely. We weren't charging you for the Just leave donkey. it on the table. Don't you have to make any more excuses for yourself. There's a lot of self-value in, um, yeah. in contracting work. You know, you have to, like, know yourself and your value. That's what I was saying. So like, yeah, well, that was the you biggest know, challenge to getting mm -hmm. used to. You're like, hey, things. I'll take yeah. 20 bucks and I'll work for you, please. And now I was like, dude, you want my work, so yeah. just give me money. Yeah, <laughs> especially know? when you can afford to say no. Yeah. When you can afford to yes. have them say no. I've that's done. when it completely flips around. Yeah. That's I why. Went, I, yeah. It's been nice to have, like, uh, delivery driving for a while um, mm -hmm. to lean back on in that's between you, things. Yeah. That's yeah. another, like, haven't done thing. that during the pandy, but I've still been getting by. Yeah, that's little, cool. Little, shout out to all the people that have given me little repair gigs. That's um, tight, dude. I don't want to, I'll leave people out if I name too many people, but you yeah. know who you are. Thank you. I got a little gig uh, handing out flyers for my friend John. Nice. He's actually the singer of a local band called Take. Cool. And he helped me get this gig, so Good I'm name. making some money. <laughs> well, awesome. I'm, technically unemployed yeah a lot of modification stuff too like gear that, musical gear that isn't broken but could have an improvement like a switch in the back of a rack unit so that the knobs would work in stereo and so you wouldn't have to change both sets of knobs Tight. at the same time yeah yeah stuff like that that's crazy dude yeah I, I don't know you've always been that guy who like just knows about websites oh you want a cool hidden like little part of the website here you go <laughs> oh you want a cool little light on your amp here you go hey you want this cool oh, yeah. thing on your guitar and it's like, dude, I loved all the modifications I yeah, had. Yeah, you I have a modded amp that's got a weird version. It's yeah. like a fuzz built in now. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty sick, man. Sick. You do a lot of cool stuff. Thank Major you. Major props. I remember when I brought you on the AM radio show, it was like you had a Game Boy that you were fucking with. I you recently put a backlight show. in a Game Boy that was Ange's one as a child. Nice. Uh, it still looks sickly green, too. I matched nice. the color. So look for that on Instagram in the next couple days. Sick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice segue. I've been doing a bunch of Game Boy stuff lately. I recently posted how to sync a Game Boy to a Volca, if you're into that stuff. I think I watched that. <laughs> yeah, so woz.lol for that lane of the gizmo -y stuff. And then, of course, Greasy Conversation for all of this uh, news reaction magic. Uh, yeah, I love the synth jams, dude. I started going down a hole of synth jams. I'm like, man, this synth is fucking jams. sick. You're like, hey, I have an ambient synth jam number 560, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's, I love YouTube. Fuck Dang, I think we're already at Bob Thornton hour two. Uh, we're pretty close. Yeah. Got a few more minutes. You want to oh. do it now? I figure we might as well, like, knock it over. All right. Uh. Ever notice how sometimes classic rock isn't classic? 
classic is supposed to mean the artist has been around for a while and done a thing or two. Welcome to High Quality Rock, the undisputed best artists and songs in rock and roll history with no posers and no slog. Only the best of the best rock music with pedigree that didn't come out of a comic book. Great music 24-7, excellent programs all week and every weekend. It's basically the only rock music station you need, and it's at HighQualityRock.com, now included with the free Radio Vegas Rocks app. Nut rub. From Ball Wash. You put that on after you, after you cleanse yourself and get a nice little fragrance down there, and it lasts all day, and it's absolutely really amazing. Ooh, yes. And it smells great, so there you go. Yeah, heck yeah, thank you so much. I'm so proud to be coming. Thank you, Ball Wash, and uh, visit them online at ballwash.com and use coupon code Radio Vegas to get 20% off. Man, I'm I'm having so much fun. They have shampoos and they have soap. I'm very excited about this. I've always seen this. Like, I wonder how that works. Know what it smells like? Well, you should open and smell it, and you'll get even more excited. Twist and pull. He had had no trouble at uh, at all over here. Listen, all right, I don't grab things that are lubricated. All right, give me a break. All right. (laughs) It smells delicious. No, <laughs> no, actually, you can smell it through the can. It actually does smell oh, pretty you do? good. Yeah. yeah, it says ocean air, solid cologne. Ooh, I'm under cedar and citrus for those woodsy smell. I mean, it says ocean and air on mine. Does it say yours is cedar? Cedar and citrus. Okay, here I'll trade you. So you, <laughs> so you can smell mine. Well, I don't want you to smell it that way, but I mean, this, oh, is, this is nice too. Yeah, see, it's and they actually make some really good smell. Dude, nut rub. You know, tonight let's you know let's, put it to the test. Let's rub some nuts. Let's, ru- let's rub the cedar and the ocean together. See, if we could get a woody ocean. Let's <laughs> rub some nut. When you need the balls to smell as fresh as the day. Nut rub. From Ball Wash. Use coupon code Radio Vegas to get 20% off. Hey, it's Radio Vegas dot rocks. Check out Sin City Love and Podcast. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna don't look over here. I'm gonna pull up the I don't wanna look over there. No, but I wanna I, I want everyone to waffle. see your face. Is it a blue vagina? Is that what you're you talking to, about? Okay, That's hold on. disgusting. I want you to see I want everyone to watch your face because this is their first time. Oh my god. This. I'm so nervous. <laughs> So nervous. I'm going to hide my face. Don't look yet. Oh, my gosh. It's so gross. It's so... Okay, you ready? No. Wait, let me get it. Dude, am I going to puke? I ate breakfast this morning. Hold on. It's pulling up. Are you ready? I was like, no, I'm not giving BJs. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. ready? I don't want to look. You guys ready? You want to watch your face? (laughs) Okay, got to look. Do it. Do it. Do it. I can't. Do it. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. That is disgusting. Exactly. Tell me. Oh, <laughs> I'm seriously gonna throw up. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me you don't show that in health class, <coughs> and people will stop having s- dirty sex. That's Sin City Lovin' Podcast every other Wednesday, at 9 a.m. on Radio Vegas Rocks. Why do we love the Golden Tiki so much? How about the handcrafted tiki drinks made with freshly squeezed juices, homemade syrups, and top shelf foods? These aren't your cruise ship pre-mixed cocktails. These specialty drinks take time and are for the true cocktail enthusiasts. Located in the strip mall in Chinatown, it's truly a hidden hideaway. Well, hidden if you don't know the address, it's 3939 Spring Mountain Road. This place is what my tiki bar dreams are made of, an adult version to Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room, complete with alcohol-infused Dole Whip and dirty talking birds with drink names like Navy Grog, Terrible Twisted, and Dirty Banana. And last but not least, a shot of empathy named Kraken. These drinks will have you back and back again. From the kick-ass atmosphere, hidden Easter eggs in the bar, like Bigfoot's footprint, and don't forget to rub the golden dong for good luck. From live music to DJs that will make you feel like you're on a tropical vacation. The Golden Tiki, 3939 Spring Mountain Road. That's the Golden Tiki, 3939 Spring Mountain Road. Springy Mountain, Spring, Springy Mountain, bouncing around, bouncy spring, springy, spring, spring mountain. Your new favorite internet radio station, Radio Vegas. Rocks. <laughs> This is Greasy Conver... Oops. There we go. Aha. Okay. Greasy Conversation. If you're listening to it, it's occurring. Fun is happening. Fun at all costs. Uh, I declare fun. I demand that there be fun. Ah! If you're not having fun, turn that frown upside down. We're all (laughs) slapping around for you. You're not having fun. Uh, You need to get out. Mandatory fun. Is this a quiz show? These are the the gurgling, crawling snakes of fun coming at ya. Yeah. I can't hear myself, but fun. You can't. All right. 
I don't know what that sounds like. It's like you think it sounds. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping. It's successful. We got a Japanese spirit amabie. Is that how you say it? Absolutely. It is I now. think it's I now. put a pronunciation yeah, it there. Now. It looks like that. Amabie. Yeah. That's some weird little little fish spirit that's supposed to ward off plagues. So it's been kind of revived. It's such a is cool... Is that why Corona's going away and we don't have to wear masks yet, right? Amabie. Well, you still should, but you know. yeah. That's the thing is, a mafia will specifically uh, punish you. Specifically, you. if you um, if you cough on your brothers and sisters. Yeah. I it really makes feel sense. I'm yeah. really for personal freedom on the mask thing and people just uh, finding out what's best for them to keep others safe and trusting their judgment, rather than yeah. people policing each other. A lot it's of people like, are kind of assholes about it. Like, if you're staying I'm six feet away from mask. people and you're conscious yeah. and not coughing on people, you should mm. be able to just make your choice on that. I agree. Yeah. People are just mad right now, dude. And yeah, and they're, they're taking and it out on other people. Online like is see. creeping into real life so much. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it is. It, it's it's because it is another real life. Like swatting and shit. Yeah, it is. It's There's, virtual reality. It's also it's just as real as the flesh world. That's how and we it make affects all us. Thing, money. Yeah, it's yeah. How, how we're making money. There's tangible money. I sell art and weird shit and landscaping, and that's how people know about it, not in person. Tangible anymore. actions are directed by what takes place online. Mm -hmm. It's every bit as tangible as our own thoughts and plans. It's probably more, because you know what other For people sure. feel about it, and you can see conversations now, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, you Fucking know what? Weird, dude. Making a list, that reminds me again about, uh, not to circle back to what we are talking about before too much, but yeah. making a list is another way of making things real besides just yelling them at the sky. Jordan if, Peterson says that, not to go into yeah, it. Yeah, well, it's, it's a Christ. Buddhist thing. It's, it, it also, you gotta like, be aware of what you've been through, man. Yeah, make a list, make it. bullet points, make sub-bullet points. That's how shit comes back out at you, though, you know what yeah. I mean? You're like, fuck! And you're like, why do I do that? And it's like, because you never got over your pet fish dying, and you know what I mean? Whatever right. it may be. <laughs> you know, but that's like, deep shit. There's somewhere further to go, it turns yeah. out, beyond just the Buddhist make lists mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, there's do a, the list. No. Well, that, yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, like, the concept of the list, you can take it further to, okay. like, a script, or dare I even say, a diagram. Oh, shit. So, like, if you get really listy, I feel like uh, lists have led to... Uh, schematics for me of, of things I wouldn't have made if I just thought about it in my head because yeah. it just wouldn't fit in my head. There's too many little chunks. Yeah. So yeah, when yeah. you get to that diagram level, you're making like scripts. And it's going in. Yeah. Scripts, scripts is another YouTube. one because like yeah. a, a real piece tends to happen if you make a script rather than just like, oh, I want to make this video. Eventually. I was going to do that with my painting thing. Like, so you want to abstract paint, huh? You know what I mean? Like, you write a <laughs> script. Like, yeah. Yes. Punk, you want to fucking get your thoughts out on paint, motherfucker? Well, <laughs> that's a big part of being able to do the recent push I've been doing on waz.lol uh -huh. and its associated Instagram is like scripting and like planning out a lot of these projects and yeah. preparing in advance and just piling it up. A lot Makes of it really there. real. Like, uh, yeah. lectures are sick as fuck, dude. <laughs> do you ever watch lectures? Like, an hour long of this dude that obviously when went it's over a sick all lecture. this in his head. Mr. Yeah. ADD yeah. can watch this, yeah. an hour long lecture. Dude, because <laughs> they go into one idea and they just branch the fuck off. And I love that. You know, when I'm stoned, that's where I'm at. I like to branch off. And I, yeah, lots of times ADD can have, like, a what super What kind do you go something. for? Dude, I've been on the self-help shit because, yeah. like, I've been bummed out for shit that's just self-helpy. But what do you go for? for do you sure. ever? I, I do that, or yeah, I do, yeah. like, either, like, philosophy of consciousness or artificial intelligence. Hell yeah. That Those sounds like tight. Thing. I went to Jordan Peterson's, like, biblical discussions. Oh, yeah. He's like, the floods mean this. It's, like, two hours long. <laughs> Adam and Eve means this. Cain and Abel is where I got that one. You know, like, people making sacrifices, like, if they have a baby or something, they're like, yeah, I have my family. But it's like, you got to, like, have your family. You know what I mean? You got to, like, be your whole self in every single thing you do. Or else you're like Cain, and Cain gets jealous of Abel and kills him, and that's just like the first murder, and it's all out of jealousy over someone else living their life right, and you can't find it in yourself. You're too busy looking at them. It's just fucking interesting. It's, <laughs> you know it's I mean? funny how on that particular story you are right now. Yeah, I am. I've been there my whole life because I don't hate. I'm not that but what jealous. Brother, but is it like the metaphorical brother of like your peers and what you do? Yeah, that you absolutely. feel the conflict with? I, I, you know, you want to kill people. Oh, no, that makes sense because you know. have been competitive as an artist in what you've, like, wanted to get yeah, you as know a musician what? with a band Let and stuff. Let me just say, if there's any artist people watching, like, I'm so fucking pissed off I'm not in that club. You know what I mean? Like, but it's Alex a club Swartza. that you, like, are in, though. Yeah. With my friends, yeah. I, I'm so thankful for all the people buying art. Like, still, yesterday I sold a piece. 
And it's like, hell yeah, you know? It makes me feel But do you good. sometimes feel like not in it as much as yeah, you want? Yeah, I don't like feel like... I used to have friends, you know what I mean? Like, in it. Like, me and you were talking all the time. Everybody was just around each other inevitably, you about know? The mu- it sounds like you're talking about the music now. Is that happening with the it's art, like, too? Or yeah, really I want... Just okay, so both? the music thing was awesome. I was uh, integrated with all of For the sure. people. And now I just feel like I'm outside the circle. Does uh-huh. that make sense? You but know, really I'm like you're not in the same circle with the same people that you were before. There's, there's but a people lot of are doing different things. And I respect things. a lot of artists, and they don't respect me. That's how I feel. Oh. It's probably not true. But people like Nancy Good, Effie, Dina, Dina respects me. But you know, there's these good artists, and I feel like I'm just an amateur because I'm like vomiting. Whatever. But it's it's, it's fun head. to think about this. This comes back to what I was saying. I just want friendship. Right? That's why I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's but also, weird I love about. thinking about art stuff with sporting attitudes. Yeah. Because I felt like just that's thinking about art and creation as a game isn't Makes enough. Because a lot of games I fluff off. I don't. I don't, I can't take games seriously. But I don't want to think about it as like art is life. I um, feel because like if it's more too much more than a game, if it's more than a sport, mm-hmm. then I get too crazy too, and I don't yeah. take care of myself. Well, and, and a sport like, requires action on your part, and yeah. you have you know usually you just get mad and there's no action. Uh-huh. Sporting makes it it's great yeah. because sporting makes you do something. You can look yeah, it's at your like, turn it falls in your court. You can look at your exposure and get a score. There's ways of ranking things that you've <laughs> yeah. done We've that are really shallow. Yeah. Shallow. So instead of like being like oh. I'm an artist, I have like intrinsic success and I don't need to look at these numbers and yeah. and shallowly compare myself to others. I, I say, F that, I'm gonna be a little bit shallow, calibratedly, I'm gonna look at those numbers and I'm gonna strive to make them better yeah. with a sporting attitude. And when I don't meet, like live up to other people's stuff, then I'm yeah. just like, well that's an athlete, I'm just gonna applaud them yeah. and, and wanna be more like them, but otherwise, good game. Exactly, I just wish I could have a beer with them after the game, metaphorically. You yeah, know what it's, I mean? it's great I enough I just to them. show up and be on the field. Yeah. I and like have a couple be, people like, hey, check it in. Dude, yeah. I've been like, hey, and they just straight up ignore me. I'm like, this is not like the music scene at all. Maybe painters are all fucking weirdos. Well, sometimes <laughs> some the weirdo. other team doesn't have to be nice to you. Exactly. And that's and if, what I hate. But the thing is with art is they can be on your team if they want. Yeah. But if they're not going to be on your team, then let's fucking see whose yeah. numbers are what. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? Just keep going And even if yourself. they keep whomping you, you have little successes and you still can feel competitive healthily. I think I miss the forest for the trees a lot. You know, I get stuck on one roadblock. Mm. I'm like, fuck that. It's not fair. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just can't rest until I, like, bitch it out. <laughs> I know. I, I, I have a problem as a creator that I know a lot of people I know share and a lot of people that I follow yeah. share. And that's that I will mess around with tools way more than create things with the tools. A way I kind of reconciled with that, that it's unique for me, that maybe this can apply to some other people with the same problem, is that, again, I tried to embrace it by saying, okay, I am just messing with tools and not creating any music now, and these are music-making tools I spent three days taking apart. But if I get artistic and get creative with what I do with the tools, modifying them, customizing, creating new ones, that's like people that, like, you don't have to race on the track to be into cars. You can be into yeah. cars and just be wrenching all day and yeah. not even drive them around, and you're still into cars. So it's that's kind one of the ways subject, but that I'm no, into it's music not. that I think like, is safe. It should be like, you know, people that aren't into cars are important too. Yeah. You know, like Tiffany loves all this cool shit on YouTube, and I'm like, what the fuck are you watching? It's all this nerdy, like, sword making and uh-huh. people towing stuff and all this mechanical stuff. I'm like, <laughs> who are you? I nice. didn't know that about her. And it's just really interesting. I'm like, that's really essential, though. She likes photographing bands. And people that like bands are essential for the bands. It's just like a little ecosystem, you know what I mean? And yeah, and it's better to create for people like you yeah, than to try to create for anyway. everyone because everyone's going to forget out. you. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no, but seriously, man, I've been just overanalyzing a lot of stuff see, in a good way. Those are examples of content that's geared for a certain audience and it nourishes mm-hmm. that audience. Yeah. And I think that that's important to remember as a creator because there's a time when you're younger and you just want to reach as many people as you can. Some people aren't going to like your your fucking pasta. I don't know what to well, say. Well, it's better well, if you try <laughs> to make gonna like it. when you try to make something that everyone likes, it's become something that no one loves. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's very yeah. wise. So it's like fast food <laughs> when you try yeah. to make the most tolerable focus group oh God, yeah. products. Then everyone's like, okay. You gotta step out of line like the hot and spicy biscuit <laughs> yeah. for McDonald's breakfast. You know, I was like, damn. Polarizing that's, things. That's tight. Yeah. It's know. not polarizing if everyone hates shit. it. People people are funny about polarizing, though. They're like, oh, this is really polarizing. No, yeah. it just everyone's on the same side of hating it. Yeah. That's yeah, not yeah, polarizing yeah. if everyone Dude, just hates hate it. Dude, hate is almost more. Yeah. If you guys were just dickheads on here, you'd probably get a lot more people watching and be like, fuck these guys. Yeah. And people are like, yeah, fuck these guys. I don't even know what I'm watching, but this <laughs> sucks. And you know, like, that's yeah. what Takashi 6 9 did when he broke the internet with his new fucking thing. He has ankle bracelet on and just out of jail because he's a snitch. 
and he's like just getting money you know what I mean from ad revenue and all this shit and people are looking at this train wreck you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. so it's weird you guys are wholesome content though so I love you thank you no the, problem the, whoa I hit that <laughs> so there's, there's that an dog. F-bomb now and then grandma I'm sorry uh, but it's part of self expression I try to be tasteful yeah, yeah. yeah sorry grandma speaking of tasteful here's a cute moment there's a uh-huh. sea lion that painted that fish monster I see oh that. yeah yeah I forgot about that this sea lion learned how to paint this really good there cartoon go. looking of this he a- does it a lot Amabie Whoa. Yeah, he paints a lot. That's and a Mabier? Leo, this sea lion Leo learned how to he paint started, that. Quote, unquote, he started drawing a Mabier. Like, what the fuck? Where'd you find this stuff? Uh, I hunt it around. Comes to this you? one, I, <laughs> I hate to say it, but shout out to Fox News on this I one. I know, I saw that headline. Like, <laughs> I, I liked, are we really going to Fox? I saw three no, different coverage no, on this particular no. article, and Fox News was the only one that talked about the sea lion I wanted to so talk about. So how do we so. please this... Uh, how do we please this plague god? You have to show pictures of it to other people and let people oh. know about it. Oh. Well, and thank you, you for sharing. <laughs> yeah. If you don't, it'll uh, make your life a living hell. I think oh, it was fuck. only a couple weeks that this sea lion wow, learned this. Right? Yeah. Late March, practicing for about a month. I'm going to draw a mavier. That's a smart yeah, animal. Right. That's on my list of animals that I think might get voting rights in my lifetime. He's been practicing. <laughs> Does he know he was practicing? He's oh, fuck, yeah. He's trying to convey, like, dude, he's in the well. Like, I guarantee lassie. they showed him a bunch of pictures. And we're like, fish, if you <laughs> duplicate this. Let me know if you understand. <laughs> That's fascinating. Clap twice. <laughs> yeah, blink twice if you... What I'm wondering is, is this sea lion aware of this representing another living entity as an image? Mm-hmm. Or just a shape it's copying? Probably and just a shape. if it's thinking about whether or not it's able to perceive if it's thinking about things. Like, how aware is this? Probably I think animals are way more often uh, self-aware than we realize. Me too. They're yeah, just yeah. not distracted with talking they about They speak it. with their eyes a lot, but, you know, yeah. plants, do doing landscaping and knowing how plants, like, live and, like, defend themselves with thorns, I'm like, that's fucking crazy. They've developed how to live healthily in these different climates. And so, if, dude, plants are doing that, animals are on some other shit, you know what I mean? They're probably, like, like what? Cats and Dogs, the movie. I think too that a lot of <laughs> they all talk. that people, pe- people in general think they're way more conscious than they actually are. Really? Yeah, I think, I think there's a, a lot of people. <laughs> we spend even, a lot of time on autopilot. We don't. Yeah, think about and we don't think about it. Like mm. your brain, your brain, that part of your brain like kicks on later and is like, oh, you've been conscious this whole time. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, seriously, I hate that. You know, yeah, dude. I don't like. like I've become used to um, that autopilot. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? That well, I everyone does. It's just like it's terrible how we nowadays. Are. Yeah, we're in but little bites. I don't even read the fucking. I'm one of those people. I read the headline. I'm like, damn, that sucks. That, you know, that waking know up details, situation but. you described made me just lose the game. <laughs> 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 you just gamed me. I need to see video of the sea lion though. I d- video or it didn't. Happen. You don't believe it? <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Yeah, <laughs> right. Someone She's just, calling bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it is Fox News. It's a setup. Yeah, yeah seriously. Uh, no, Tucker, no. Car- Tucker Carlson write that. I corroborated it. Here's NPR with the same story. Oh, shit. Just yeah. so we can Although, be better. Dude, like he's that. got sources. You guys got sources. We do. If you go oh, to greasyconversation.com, you can actually see our live news doc with Did all our links and sources. That? <laughs> <laughs> uh, with links with Easter eggs, too, in there. Nice. Yeah, NPR's coverage of this sucks. Yeah. So there. As usual. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man, this is perfect. Can we go to the Leaning Tower of Dallas next? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. It just feels related somehow. That's my kind of segue. This feels related somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the same. <laughs> yeah, this is actually pretty great. It's a, It was this demolition. This photo gallery is great. Gone awry of this uh, tower in Dallas. Where is it? So uh, it looks it. like it was a tiny tower, but it was actually a lot wider around. Wait for and it when it demolished a central core, about a third of the width of the rest of the building remained. That's tight. Is it still there? Probably so, um, no, it's probably still there. There's tight. a lot of great pictures of people kicking it. <laughs> so that central core looks like it's the outside of the tower, but it's actually with the middle that was left cool. after a bunch fell around. Uh, I'm not going to lie, that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, these kids pushing on it and stuff. I love it. Yeah. Photo gallery time. Yeah, I'm wondering how many people were fired. This is NBC <laughs> News. <by laughs> the way. Get the fuck like out of here. You're supposed to like blow up the building safely, and it's just like leaning. So I read about the what the demolition people said, mm-hmm. yeah. and the way they worded it, it was basically 
something that could happen in any demolition. Yeah. There's a certain percentage of chance that, like, they'll make a mistake like that. You kind of hope that, that something would still stand, you know, like, cause if, any, if it wasn't intentional. I don't know, man. Well, it was this intentional. Was good they good architecture, I guess, is what yeah. I'm saying. It, it was better than they anticipated. Or I think they it. had a failure of a line uh, or a go. product that they didn't create. There you go. Uh, um, and so they have insurance for that kind of thing. And, like, I think it's written into their contract, like, a certain amount of um, release of liability for this kind of situation. Nice. You got to, because you could mess up and have the whole thing fall over on another mm, building. Yeah. I like this one with the the hairdryer. <laughs> yeah, I just passed the, the hairdryer yeah. one. <laughs> the dog. This, there's a dog leaning the same as it. That's a good good dog. Good dog, yeah. This guy's pushing it over with his belly. Yeah. It was me in five years. <laughs> and I missed it. Dad bod. No, it's for what the dog. It's fun. Pa past the hairdresser. What fun. I think it's really lame. Why do people do this? Tiffy's <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> fake. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> fake. <'Cause> it's <laughs> They're like, not really pushing that over. Because well, people have like been... Kids in the whole crush it, like crush yeah. 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 I mean, they've been doing it to the Leaning Tower of Pisa forever. That's yeah. like the tourist thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you can do it in the States. It's yeah, wonderful. It's right. I love that there's one woman getting a photograph of it while there's two people doing the yeah. same thing in the same frame yeah, further away. Yeah, that's hilarious, yeah. I, I, I was wondering what they are doing, but in their perspective, it yeah, makes sense. Yeah, in okay. their perspective, they're doing with the thing. Oh, man, the, this sure. kicker person. Yeah. This is great. I, I love when someone else gets a photo of someone else getting a funny photo. Yeah. Well, <laughs> ideas spread pretty pretty quick, I guess. Like the tr Trump statue that everyone like went downtown to fucking destroy. I posted show flyers on it. That was pretty punk rock. Oh, I'm not dealing with anything uh, no, local in the have. last week, unfortunately. What do you mean? I've oh, just, no, not uh, last week. It was a while ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Like 2016, 17. And oh. Decline did it, yeah. And Decline made a Trump yeah, statue? Yeah, they made a Trump statue. They have a thing called Hedge Will Roll, and they're saying in October they're going to have a huge installation about Trump at the wall or something. Neat. It's like a t trailer. Yeah, it's That was the first artist, like, uh thing that I noticed in Vegas. Me too. those things tucked away. My buddy showed me um, it's Decline, only getting we worse about. or whatever. They have a little video of just like riots. Have you seen it? Mm -mm. Okay, it's like graffiti mm -hmm. and they like go on the Big Mac thing, the McDonald's billboard and they're like, made with E. coli. <laughs> and like they do like graffiti like that. I'm and a hanging man when they're yeah there we're dying for work. Like there's yeah. a blank billboard and, like dying for work. And who is this? This guy who? hanging on the noose. Thing. In decline. In decline. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're everywhere, dude. Yeah, I've I, seen, I I've seen those stickers and shit. Yeah, Mercy right. Music is really connected to like Brian McPherson, who directs a lot of their videos. I think it's a really interesting collective, man. I yeah, I'm in glad there. you did a shout out there because yeah. uh, in decline, what's up? Yeah, interesting stuff that like yeah. has been influential to me. So yeah, yeah. you can follow him on YouTube. It's pretty interesting, man. I've been trying to keep touch with everyone. It's like a new hub, you know. I, I figured out YouTube basically. <laughs> it's a lot better than Facebook. Are you starting to make connections with it? Because I, I think it might be what the time I'm not putting in interacting with other creators on YouTube versus what I'm doing on Instagram. Yeah, but Instagram is amazing. Doing way better for me than YouTube. Dude. I struggle on YouTube comparatively. I made a whole year just on art sales from Instagram, like one in 2018. Wonderful. I had to yeah. fucking survive nice. off like 200, 100, 75, 75. It's where most of my acquisition is coming from with yeah. the cool gadgetry for sure. I'm in like 11 states, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty tight, but I don't know. Washed it up. Little, yeah, I'm washed <laughs> up, damn it. <laughs> oh, dude. It's an interesting YouTube's life. just it's drama. Yeah. Just people it's making tiny. drama videos back and forth. Yeah, that's what fucking Facebook is. Like, fucking white people. You and like, dude, you're the whitest bitch I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't have those experiences. I do. You don't. That's not on your feed? Thank no, God. No, no. <laughs> I, I curate. curate man. I it's curate my so feed. It's all so-and-so said this about me. Wah, wah, wah. I know. Yeah, and then I don't likes. They interact suck. with those. And, and this the is why. algorithm knows. <laughs> For now. Yeah. You can subconsciously, against your will, interact with things like that. And then you get fed it more. I'm, yeah. s I'm really anal about how much pruning I do in my feed. That's amazing. So I don't get shit on. I get like puppies, uh, friends, <laughs> children, Tight. hella Tractors. friends, children. So many babies lately. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I like. Tractor I just shared cat memes for a while, so like I'm oh, set. Yeah. That's like I just. So your cat feed's memes, nice dog. and catty. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah you gotta that treat love. it. You yeah, know what I mean, like, that's a good deed. There's a huge metaphor in this for how people maintain their own brain. Oh, because yeah. Because people do not think um, enough about how they Filtering. are more than one person, how uh, you've got more than one functioning system in that head to try to mm -hmm. wrangle. 
and you've got to reconcile things with yourself and other yous in there. Yeah, and shit. The way Damn, that dog. you treat your algorithm, the way that you complain about what Facebook is feeding you versus what you right click on the freaking three dots and say, I don't want to see this anymore, yeah. or stop clicking like on stuff just because it makes you mad, or stop clicking the angry face at all. Mm, yeah. And, and what really does that do? Cur- the angry face. The algor- algorithm. Well, tells if you interacted with it at all, Facebook thinks you want more of it. Yeah. Oh. Even whether you hate it or not, there's no like dislike with Facebook. All yeah. of the angry face, sad face, snuggle, smile, heart. That's all likes. It's all yeah. interaction. It's just interaction. And it boosts Absolutely. it so other people see it. So if it's like toxic shit. So if you don't want something, if yeah. you don't want something in your feed, don't even leave it in your face. Because Facebook Send watches threats, where you right, scroll. Right. No, oh, and how long you, like, linger on it. Yeah, right? especially oh. Instagram does this like crazy. If you linger on it just because you're appalled, yeah, you, it knows it, it's going to think, oh, whatever he was seeing, he liked looking at it. Wow. Dude, sometimes I, like, go to a picture and it automatically puts, do you want to put congrats? Is that what you're trying to say? Before I even start <laughs> typing. It's like, yo, do you want to say cool dog? You know what I mean? <laughs> cool and dog. I do, but yeah. still, how do you know that? <laughs> So I feel like there's a metaphor in that to how we treat our own brains because there's a part of our brain that's working just as autopilot as yeah. that algorithm. And if but you're autopilot us, sour, ugh. Yeah. And if you're not programming that part of your brain, which, like, I should talk. There's hella pot calling the kettle black here with uh, yeah. bad habits and stuff. Yeah, we but all it's, got them. Yeah, it, that's how you, you have to nudge away at things like that, and it starts you training your algorithm make it inside. Though. You know, everyone's got that ugly underside. Mm. Like, ugh, sluggish, you know what I mean? Fake it to make Fuck it everything. such a loaded term to me, because is, I love it, and I've is. subscribed it to the, the term fake it to make it. Oops, sorry. Oh, yeah, it. dude, it, it helped uh, me a lot. Yeah, it's... I can put on a face like no other. It's, I it's think nice. it's really valuable and good for people to use it, but I think people abuse it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's one yeah. of those things that, like, Are it's not a blanket to statement. Believe their lies. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. In their own <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, you're, if you're faking it, don't get pompous. We know someone like that. <laughs> yeah, if you use it as like a... <laughs> Mark Saint, shout <laughs> out, fake-ass motherfucker. <laughs> if you use it no, as like building yourself or like building confidence in yourself <laughs> or doing something, like that's that's yeah. what I used it for. Yes. It's like, like oh, I, yeah. I wanted to it make art, to but internal. I didn't consider myself like any type of serious artist. But I'm like, if you it's just do the that. thing you think you, yeah. you want to do... Yeah, it makes you happy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I find myself thinking a lot about, like, well, I can't do that. Other people would. It's like, no, dude, wait. It's all me. Yeah. That shit doesn't exist as much as I think it does. Or yeah. I think, I think if about If I'm doing it, it, I'm a thing doer. Yeah, I think about it in a social engineering way. Mm-hmm. Like, social engineering a lot is just, like, act like you belong somewhere and no one's going to question yeah. you because people don't do that. Sometimes I have my posture, like... And other people start doing it. I'm like, all right, I'm in control of this situation. <laughs> 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 you know I mean? like, Get his arms folded. You, you yeah. feel like, you know, when you look people in the eye, Leaning you fucking back, speak loud. Chin up. You know, if it's a bunch yeah. of other men at work in the union, I'm like, what's yeah. up, man? Yeah. No, well, I don't talk like that. But yeah. Also, like, closed gestures versus open gestures is a little subconscious thing. It's a closed Probably gesture. not worth, th- worth thinking too much about. Yeah. But if, you're, if your heart is open, like, literally... Like mm. exposed, your arms are out, hands open, visible hands. Like this is open. That's receptive. People are, yeah. People are open to this. Too open, I'm open, and you look too casually yeah, relaxed. Like, yeah, you're like climb in. <laughs> you do chill on, um, chill on the chill. But this is so comfortable. When but I'm the just thing is, like, this well, isn't. Yeah. I don't think this is as much of a closed gesture though, because it can be attentive. <laughs> you gotta do it a certain so way. So I don't think it's as simple as like open and closed. Yeah. Because like arms crossed can just mean I'm paying attention. And I think people yeah. perceive that. I think people don't. It's kind of like, I'm, like I'm yeah. just, you know, yeah, I got it. I got totally. you. Totally. But when you've got your arms closed <laughs> and you're like half turned to the person, like you're about to walk away. Yeah, it's all about <laughs> where your body is. Dude. If you're speaking to someone, you need eyes and teeth. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like getting these teeth is so weird, like you metaphorically for me. Three second roll helps too with social awkwardness. What? So uh, you just look at each person for approximately three seconds yeah. or your perception of three seconds. Mm. So you spread your attention and then yeah. you, 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 not, look, you look present. You, yeah. It's not so short that you like make uh, eye contact and then dart away, you which you might people. worry is suspicious, and then you do it extra. Yeah. And it's not so long that you start to feel like you're making a face or something from standing. That's so at interesting because a lot of guys flirting with girls probably like push that other self that they're trying mm-hmm. to like. All right, be be cool, be cool. Touch your boob. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like they go uh, way too far. I'll with trying overthink to be... about which direction I look after I look at someone, yeah. and it doesn't matter. Dude, the most don't have people to think that, that much about it. I'm just. No, I'm not going to go into that. But there's this guy I met who uh, goes online. so happy. So happy. And then in real life, it's so sad and so delusional. And I just was mind-blown, dude, that I, I realized that these people are shouting, 
I'm fucking having a great time, having a great life. Everything's awesome. Thanks for the likes. You know Everything I mean? is fine. Yeah, and then you meet them and you're like, holy fuck, dude, I can't hang out anymore. Sorry. You yeah, know what I mean? YouTube in The 20 more you portray, the less it is probably in real life. Uh, YouTube 2015 humble. to 2017 was a huge time when, like, all my favorite YouTubers were having breakdowns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah. oh, no, I don't want to do this, it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> I was overthinking this YouTube thing. Yeah. Dude, YouTube's <laughs> crazy, man. Putting yourself on and doing the song and dance. Mm. The well, because it's a certain the formula. Oh my God. Drive people crazy. Yeah. You can't look at the comments. You don't have to look at the comments. And you nah. also don't have to do someone else's formula just because their formula worked. There's so mm -hmm. many things that worked. So. Oh, yes. hey, why don't we move on to another nugget? Yeah. All right. A uh, gentleman yes. was busted bro oh. breaking into, or he had broken into an Australian museum and spent about 40 minutes strolling around, and it was closed, obviously. And he was taking selfies with all like the fossils nice. and, and exhibits and shit. <laughs> That's tight. That's dope. Yeah. So did he get arrested or something? Uh, Just yeah. Get he the did, fuck he out. Didn't get busted. Yeah. Okay, that sucks. You can take the selfies with those things <laughs> when it's not broken into. Who That's is this funny. blue shirt tucked into khaki pants? Hey God. That's the dude. Fuck it, I'm doing it. Who <laughs> breaks know? into something in khaki pants? He's been wanting to do this for his whole life. Yeah. Brown he's, leather he's, belt. He's been planning this for a he while. He looks a big like moment for the him, generic man. white male. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, the most basic of specimen. Oh my gosh. Look basic at this guy. Page. Look at that, that fit, too. He's, He's not chilling, broke. dude. Like His posture is just like, wow, I'm in a great place. I'm not thinking about how I'm trespassing. Poor people's clothes don't fit like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my clothes don't fit like that. You're right. I thought this was going to be a dry piece, but there's nuggets there's, here. Yeah, there's nuggets <laughs> in everything. Yeah. There is nuggets in everything, you guys. Yeah. Chickens have nuggets, too. I like this line in, in the article. It's possible the intruder felt he couldn't wait on any longer for view of the megalodon teeth, meteorites, See? and gastric brooding frogs <laughs> the museum has to offer. See what I mean, though? They're like, dude, he just couldn't contain himself. Yeah, he woke man. up like, Some people can't. Today's a day. <laughs> you know? It's like, like I'm, get, I'm getting I'm 30, in that fucking fuck museum, man. Yeah, I'm 38. I got to get in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it gets into uh, Three kids. <laughs> Did he, like, come through the ceiling, like, Mission Impossible style? I have so many questions about this guy. Yeah, I don't know. Well, judging by the pants, he took an Uber. I'm just kidding. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he <laughs> actually <laughs> rang a doorbell for one of the rooms and also passed the chance to make off with some of the most priceless items the museum has. Oh, yeah, he like, he, he literally okay. just wanted to go to the museum and, oh. like, take pictures. like And goof yeah. off and have the place to himself and yeah. just adventure. Instagram venture. life. What's up, guys? This He's an urban here. explorer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Guardian. Coming at you again. <laughs> All right, that's a chuggable one. What's another one? Toss that's it a cool concept, a YouTube uh, show where you're Break just breaking in. in to museums <laughs> and Break, other nerdy places. Breaking in. That'd be we broke into the vape shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. have helpers or, like, handlers that, like, uh, fix the legal stuff, follow you around, like they do with Man on the Street Productions. Mm -hmm. When, like, what? Tom Green pushes over a pot plant or something, and, like, yeah. the helpers swoop in behind the cameras and, like, pay off people, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, nice. I didn't know that. That's tight. That's how prank shows work. Pr and Practical Jokers. Nice. There's tons of that. I would just give them money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, Here's 20 bucks. This, shut this the fuck your up. Planner, right? Yeah. Oh, damn. So I found this article. It looks like it's behind a paywall now, which sucks, but I did dive into it last time. But it's basically... I'll the, find another one. This, like, it was this archaeological study of early or humans when mice started infiltrating our grain stores and shit. And it's about how cats, cats domesticated themselves or domesticated humans to get to our mice. <laughs> so they, they just, like, crept in when, yeah. when the mice started coming to us. Who's controlling and cozying who? up. But cats totally train people, man. Dude, I've been thinking that about your mom's cat. I'm like, man, this cat's up to something. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, it's old as fuck, and it's still, like, lively and talking. It's trying to say something. I've been having a thought about this, too. Well. Um, if you think about how much horses could destroy us oh, fuck. if they wanted to, like, how much a horse could just be as... Uh, yeah. Dangerous as a wolverine. Ferocious. They're yeah. much larger than so many animals that are extremely dangerous to us, <laughs> but they're choosing to domesticate with us. And I feel that way with the cat. I feel like the cat really treats me the way I believe early man probably treated horses. Oh. Cooperatively, and um, there's so much like give and take of like physical communication. Yeah. This so reminds me so much of uh, breaking, quote unquote, a horse. 
kind of like who feeds whatever, you know, if you feed the horse, he's like, all right, we're cool. It's like, nah, dude, they're cool. Don't kill them. They're cool. They're yeah, going to feed us. But the cat is providing a service <laughs> with us, Ow. too, in, like, uh, allowing itself to be um, emotionally vulnerable. Okay. Like, because I feel like the way a cat bonds with you, it isn't just, uh, like, a shallow putting, doing the actions that we would interpret as an emotional bond. Yeah. They genuinely get upset if stuff happens to you, mm-hmm. or like if you're gone. And it's not yeah. just being upset about eating. If you don't, Anything, yeah. if you act like, um, like say I get distracted with work stuff and I don't give the cat as much attention, the cat's still getting fed fine, but the cat will still be hurt mm-hmm. that I that I didn't uh, just There's acknowledge no it. Yeah, I, I've love is the answer. Yeah, my cat, and I know this is the case of many others that I've had, um, is aware of how much it matters to me. Okay. And there's there's an, so if I act like the cat doesn't matter to me, the cat's feelings are hurt, and the cat wants to matter to me, and be yeah. noticed in my world. Wow. That's yeah. No matter how well it's fed, yes, <laughs> and that can't be taken for granted. As much as people talk about cats being manipulative and it all just being manipulating human emotion, Someone there's a vulnerability. Them, the right? cat is putting itself out there emotionally, yeah, allowing itself that. to be hurt emotionally. And That's we will something. cater to the cat. Yeah. 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 My mom always fixes the water like changes out the water like three times a day mm. this cat wants fresh water Damn. Yeah. demands it just sits there and <laughs> demands it <laughs> but there's up. no reason that the cat needs me to touch it the yeah. cat doesn't have any health yeah. consequences for me not touching it but if I don't she's upset and it's yeah. just because she wants to matter to me she wants mm. to uh, exist that's heavy that like, wants to be part of the club yeah. Yeah. like do I exist if someone doesn't know I exist it's funny talking that. to them. They kind of notice animal, that yeah. you're saying yeah. shit. Oh, hey. I, uh, my cat is, like, super talkative, yeah. and I feel like we communicate verbally a yeah. lot of times. He definitely understands what I'm, like, some things I say for sure that I say yeah. all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, knock it off, yeah. you, little, you little asshole. <laughs> I, why did I get you? I should have never... No. Yeah, this was this was a fucking mistake. They absolutely get a sense of entitlement so the too. The cat gets that. You know? If you set oh, a certain knows. standard, if you set a certain standard, they want things to maintain that standard. There's hey, definitely that's entitlement. Just, it's just basic yeah. knowledge. It's law of the world. Oh, cat we law. need to do something. Cat law. Bird it's law. time. It's time to do something exciting and dramatic to bow, warrant bow, 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 these going on. Yay! Ah. Oh, yeah. This is the quiz show for you. This is where stuff happens that would happen in a quiz show normally, but I didn't think about what would happen yet. <laughs> it's where I put on Greg to suddenly come up with something because I built drama. <laughs> that ain't happened to me. Yeah. All right, should we do our last uh, Billy Bob? <laughs> it's that time. Spooky stories. Oh. Yeah, yeah I, bu- I built a happen. lot of spooky suspense all of a sudden and drama to suddenly get you guys excited you about ghost this story? commercial break. Oh, okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ghost stories. Yeah. Listen up. The soap you shower with, it's You probably haven't even questioned what bar of soap you lather up with. Let's face it. Most guys don't. They're still using whatever bar their mommy bought for her little man. Is that what you want? To smell like mama's little man? Ugh. But now you can upgrade your shower game with Dr. Squatch Natural Soap. To subscribe to Dr. Squatch, visit RadioVegas.rocks and click on the banner. Or don't, and continue to be Mommy's Little Helper. Dr. Squatch Natural Soap. Real soap for real men. You guys love tacos? I do. Yes. I do. Okay, right? Is yeah. That tacos. That's my care. spirit animal. I don't care what gender you are or, you know, we just, we love tacos, right? Sexually identify as a taco. Yes! Whatever, <laughs> man. <laughs> but, you know, Sweet. since we all love tacos, we all need to know about Pinche's Tacos. And do you know where it's at? It's 9205 West Russell Road. It's an awesome place for lunch, dinner, or both. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Radio Vegas Rocks, we love this place so much that if you mention us and order a blood orange margarita, they will give you a free gringo taco. What? Free gringo taco? Yes, that's right. That's what I said. And you know what else? It's like, okay, you're like, well, I don't really feel like driving over there. They have two locations, bruh. Two in locations. But you need to get in on this deal. You must visit the Russell location. I mean, yeah, that's where you got to go for the free gringo tacos. But I'm just saying, you know what I mean? If you're just like, I don't have gas for that, but I have money for tacos, just go to the other one. But yeah, pinch is tacos, because who else doesn't love tacos, man?
Hi, I'm Todd, a child of the 1970s, and your host for K Todd. It's my 70s radio show that plays the music from the me decade. We'll have lots of memories from those 10 great years with moments from TV and the movies. And your requests. Call me anytime and leave a request or a comment, and you could be on the air at 1 315 665 1970. And stay tuned for the next fun look at the 70s on K Todd. Uh, that's right. Yeah. What? Look out. Hey, howdy. Greasy conversation coming at ya. ya, uh, ya. Howdy. <laughs> howdy. <laughs> anyway. It's a good howdy, day, howdy, y'all. You're on Radio Vegas dot rocks. Listen to Greasy <laughs> Conversation spelled the right way. Okay. Greasyconversation.com is where you can see the video feed of this that we're describing anyway, but also get links to these news articles and Easter eggs in the Google Doc, our live secret inside document shared with you. Beautiful stuff. Hello. Hello. All right, everyone. We all love aliens, right? We all want aliens to be Hell very yeah. real. Oh yeah. So this. I do. This physicist has an idea about the the fermi paradox and why we haven't run into aliens yet and his idea is that once a civilization gets to the point where they're traveling to other planets and populating their solar system and galaxy that <coughs> they'll just kind of roll over everyone else by not even noticing them right it'll be like how um, we uh do ants. just just flatten uh, area of wildlife to put up a warehouse or something, you yeah. know? Yeah. We're so. going to turn into a fucking parking lot or what? I, yeah, Earth is totally going to be a parking lot. I have to disagree <laughs> with this immediately on the premise that the more awo- awake we've been to, like, part of succeeding as a species with humanity has been discovering and implementing more teamwork. We see mm-hmm. it with other animals that are successful that yeah. team up with other species or with, e- with e- each other. Um, even uh, if you consider other animals evolutionarily behind us, um, the most successful ones that have we have the least problems with them getting extinct and stuff they yeah. team up at least with each other but um, as we kind of had this rather quick technological awakening and we're forced to grow up and in a this hurry visual. because we had more responsibility for how much of the universe we could affect as individuals we started to have to police each other and function as one species so as we've done this as it's been this clear progression that's unavoidable We've had to start being a steward of the We're earth. We're trying to reach like a singularity, it seems like. like, Hey, stop doing this, you fucking idiots. Well, we've definitely reached a tipping you know? point where we're hurting the earth less than uh, we're helping it, for the most part. We're not... There is a point in our lifetimes when we were hurting the earth more than the mm-hmm. earth was making up for it. So I think we're right around the singularity of that, where um, we're being a net gain for the earth, saving species, um, perpetuating... Um, like actions that don't make us run out of trees or yeah. exacerbate the hole in the well, ozone, things like that. So I feel like another species would have to start thinking preservationally and have to start yeah. thinking about Evolutionary. the prime directive if it's smart enough to discover other things. Like, for example, it's like when, a primal instinct, dude. When we go that. to Mars, even as desolate as it looks, we're uh, going to adapt somehow. Well, not only are we going to adapt, but I mean, we're not going to uh, pollute. Right away, right in the away. same way. Well, for example, if we the find an aquifer on Mars, Mars yeah. we're not going to just rub our dirty Start. metal against it right away. There's going to be yeah. studies of what's in there first, mm-hmm. and I think the same is true no matter what the size scale of what might be capable of discovering us. Uh, yeah. I don't think would just clomp us so effortlessly. It kind of puts us in a. I don't know, man. It makes me feel really, really not important. <laughs> <laughs> like it, that's well, a the whole, thing to the, say, but the whole really Fermi par- paradox does. Um, really? the, if I'm if I'm saying this right, the Fermi paradox is the fact that uh, it is likely as it is that there's other life with all these different places in the universe for there to be other life. Mm. Yeah, all the nearest places are extremely far away because the it, photons can travel from so far that we have a really warped perspective of how nearby things are. Mm-hmm. That like we haven't even existed as humans long enough to get to, like, one of the next nearest places that yeah. something could get to. That That's what been, I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, man, centuries from now, we'll probably be on fucking Venus, too, you know? And then the next one, and the next one. Yeah, and, and well, the, the distance between planets, as dramatic as it is, is like uh, a, a grandma's face whisker uh, of distance <laughs> compared to yeah. the, the million miles, the, the distance yeah. from here to the sun that it is to get to the next sun, proportionately. It's yeah. unfathomable, yeah. Like when you go to the mountains and you're like, damn, all these trees. 
yeah. who the fuck planted these? They just grew up and they like tended to each other, sort of. Some died off, but I don't know, man. It's crazy. You can this find this is almost a non sequitur, but I just can't not say it after that. Is that but you can find the first ring of creosote bushes? Like creosote is almost a new word for some people. It's a common desert bush. Really? I forget what state it's in, but it's in this like tri-state area. There's okay. a ring of like the original ring of creosote bushes, and they just spread out. That's there. sick. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's heavy. They, really. They're really good at promoting, I guess. <laughs> 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 the hella gorilla style. Oh, yeah. They got uh, hello branding. <laughs> Marketing is <Yeah>. on point. <laughs> <laughs> that brand, though. It's it's their highlight color. They Hell stick yeah. to only two, three colors. Uh, you, you don't overuse your highlight color. And nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. What about this? Uh, <laughs> The swoopy thing, yeah. And now, Behold. and now, this uh, this mayor in Peru. Oh, this guy is nice. great. You have to sh- I have to show you what he looks like in this hammock. Yeah, oh, who dude, was scary? No, he was disobeying the lockdown orders, and so Shit. the authorities were. Lo- I guess he was. What was he? Like a house with some people hanging out, drinking, drinking, maybe playing a little cards. This is a small town, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, and so the authorities were coming. Whoa. And he hid in a coffin. Nice. I don't know why there were coffins in this in this house. There are multiple coffins, it sounds Rich like. Rich people, you know? I okay. guess so. They just have standby <laughs> coffins. You might just have to look case. at a couple articles to see this, but so the insider article Whoa. shows wooden coffins. He was not <laughs> hanging out in one of these wooden coffins. Those when are When I get to the shift. picture of actually him, this is really misleading news on this article. Nice. He's insider. in like a hammock. Okay, I guess it is wooden. Uh, yeah, it looks it's like, like a w- hammock. <laughs> it's cheap, though. This wooden He's coffin. He's a good time. It's like this might have just been a box bricks came in that they're yeah. using as a coffin. And the look pallet. at his uncomfortable arm. It's like, that's yeah. not a dead person. He's like, I'm, no. I'm not alive. I'm not alive. I'm not alive. His With elbows all falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. With the mask still on. Healthy skin still. Work boots. Right. Like, who who's sitting in the coffin? Well, I guess so, someone, they just don't want to change. I want to be buried in my work boots. <laughs> like, and no one would ne- recognize. The, why does this corpse look like the mayor? This fresh yeah, corpse. That's <laughs> right. a good mask, though. Nice coverage, you know? Right. <laughs> Yeah, so there's there's all kinds of uh, weird layers to this that are just silly. Yeah. Um, so I mentioned when cops bust him for curfew, it wasn't immediately clear where he and his pals were drinking or why open caskets were nearby. Uh, <laughs> no one wants them. Either. Whoa. <laughs> that coffin sucks. This town must suck to be mayor for. His arms look so uncomfortable, the article says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that was me. <laughs> That's deep journalism. The article said oh, okay. that too? You had a script going? That's tight, dude. Sort of. That was Blue a little script? piece of script, yeah. Okay. You're past the microphone there. Oh, dude, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I caught mic it. Etiquette, yeah. That's why I'm wearing headphones. So there. <laughs> You're welcome, Sassy. Joe Rogan. No problem. So. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should chug right now. We're in the we're in the tail end. We've got a lot of a lot of cool other news to check out here. Yeah. If we, uh, you want to go deeper? Yeah. Subtracting from it. Oh, uh, so you want to on the, the professional marble racing. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm so glad you remember <laughs> Dude, this that. Is yeah. so, I love this. This yeah. is a really cool Greg find. Yeah, so I, I, I... Describe it a little while I pull it up. So I, I tune into this once in a while. It's on YouTube. It's oh, a, yeah. uh, it's like a marble race that they made to look like a professional race. Okay. So there's a little, it's like... A uh, yeah, there's like a stadium. <laughs> there's like a little mini stadium, and then there's just a bunch of marbles in the seats. So it looks like marbles are watching marble racing. Nice. And then there's, there's, a, there's a nice plastic track, and then there's, like, professional commentators. Wow. And it's... This, this is a thing, It huh? looks pro, man. And it's it's just hilarious This to is me. why YouTube is cool, though. People are, right? like... D- people are reviewing Kit Kats. It's, like, some Chinese kid. He's like, I like Kit Kats, and that's totally not cha- Asian, <laughs> but... <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just, like... Yeah. It's boring as shit, but, God, I love Wait, it. You know, like, Marvel differ- Mason, That's interesting. There is a whole it's world of Kit Kats, though. Really? There yeah, is, yeah. Of, like... Uh, what do you mean? Dozens and dozens of different flavors. Okay. Birthday cake Kit Kats? Oh, my God. Yeah, tip salad. Whoa, birthday. dude. So That's awesome. In Japan, especially. Uh, way it too might much be the, time on their hands. It might be the case <laughs> in other Asian places, but there's Kit Kat has got a way more uh, diverse, uh, like, portfolio. Okay. So you could really be into Kit Kats in Japan. And there's yeah. all these different flavors and exclusive flavors. Collectors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, my, <coughs> I have a, a reissue Crystal Pepsi, and the bottle is shrinking in. It's like mass is eliminating itself within the this bottle. Hole. It's got like a half-life. I remember we tried one 
on the show like <laughs> yeah, a year ago. And, and was, I saved the other one. It was way better than regular yeah. Pepsi, man. Like, they should bring it back. They really should. It's kind of a disappointment because they put the new logo on it, so it reminds me of seeing the logo that it's not authentic. But it's sitting on the shelf, and it's, like, buckling in on itself. It's, like, gut is coming in. Oh, and dude. I'm like, what is taking up, like, negative mass? Is it something that happens when the bubbles collapse? What's going on with the bubble? <laughs> yeah. Because it used to be under pressure, and now it's all sunken in. Dude, that's sick. It's creepy. I don't know if you, no. any of you guys are out there. That's simple. That's guys wholesome. Guys and gals, if Marvel. you have old beverages that you're collecting... Can you tell me if this is an issue with your uh, <laughs> beverage collection, too? This is my first beverage in a collection, so I Are don't they know. evolving? <laughs> or devolving? So do you know anything about characteristics of mar marbles that help them win or lose more? Uh, uh, it really depends on the pilot, is what I've been finding out. So the pilot, Dude. do they do something at the launch? No, they, they live inside the marble. There's this <laughs> spirit pilot oh. of the marble. So there's like a, a little bit of uh, telekinesis uh, status to this, where you want to kind of... Yeah, frown well, at look, the ball. Okay, look, uh, it goes like this. Like, cheer it on, yeah. When you turn into a ghost, all right, uh, you, you can opt to have a little part of your ghostness live inside of a marble. And you go faster the more drivers there are. Exactly. Yeah. So you can have Brian a bunch of people up. in the marble? <laughs> no, only one person per marble. Okay, but okay. The more, no, that's fair. the more ghosts that exist in marbles. Yeah. Oh. One person per marble, but more ghosts in the marble. More ghosts in the marble equals more speed. No. Oh, now they're competing more at once. This is, is that is that like an elevator? I they, saw? they do like time trials. Yeah, I think there's a little. <laughs> they <laughs> made a contraption where it'll like print, like step the the marble up. It's yeah. like a motor. Yeah. Yeah, we should describe this a little bit more. There's marbles in a stand. It's about the size of a bedroom. They look like people. If they have faces, you'd be like, oh. The track cute. is about as wide as my hand is tall. Dude, look and at that elevator. There is an elevator part that lifts them up an incline to race again. It's like mouse trap. Yeah, yeah, sort so, of. yeah. I have to say, yeah. time trials, <laughs> time trials, lame. When they're racing yeah. against each other, cool. Sick. Well, they have yeah. to do time trials to determine the order that the marbles uh, race in. Yeah. They, so the the, so they, they don't cheat and cut each other off yeah, when competing? Dude. Yeah, There's a lot of like competitive Oh my gosh, people. two got neck and neck. Yeah. This actually got cool. I actually could watch this a minute. It's, it's pretty relaxing. It's like wholesome and relaxing to watch once in a while. This it's is simple. They're not mad at each other. Right? They're just healthy, r healthily racing. This is the opposite of something I've been putting on that's equally like half entertainment. Like I'll put on this channel that's like vaporwave, like uh, vapor jazz stuff, yeah. and like it'll be old nostalgic clips of '90s shows on like old TVs. Mm -hmm. and it's supposed to just be like background music, and you look over it and see '90s vaporwavey stuff. Yeah. And you do stuff during it. You can't. It's not fun to just stare at for very long. This is completely opposite. It's only fun staring at this. <laughs> yeah, it's not like something you, you I could chill put this out on too long. While listening to music, I could watch this. Yeah, and the comment, the commentary is, like, fucking great because they, they just treat it like it's a real race. Nice. And, like, they're sponsored by the car companies and everything. This is such a good follow-up to the soapbox racing I showed uh, yeah. a couple episodes ago. Red Bull soapbox racing. Oh, man, you got to just Google that. And, okay, <laughs> Brian, have you heard of this? No. So these soapboxes like tumble and crash every time Sick. and they're really light and made out of crap bicycle parts and it's really mm. overblown and people wear costumes and stuff that's it's awesome. so awesome <laughs> do we have dude i just uh, keep thinking about this guy sorry it's kind of detracting but there's this guy who does quarantine racing he's like there's quarantine racing and he <laughs> yells it and he's like what is court is this in a vehicle he, no it's at his house he's in his kitchen and he has a little ramp and he has like <laughs> a it's a crate of barbie dolls Versus a Beatles record. Okay, the Barbie sounds, Dolls win. This sounds <laughs> awesome, actually. He's amazing. He's like this old guy, and he's so nice. And he's look at these people he race makes a daily bed, Ryan. content though. These people are racing a bed Holy dressed shit. in kabuki makeup. I like the coffee cups or whatever. <laughs> Those are uh, Japanese cups. lanterns. Oh, oh, eats it right away. Dude, I didn't know there's people inside tumbling. <laughs> That's awesome. Way Look cooler. at this is a box of strawberries racing. What? And at the end they throw the She's strawberry. A little strawberry. Yeah. They throw the strawberry pillows to the crowd. This is the Japan oh my one. God, dude, I showed insane. you guys a couple episodes ago. There's a there's a great face this old guy makes that's like the face of determination. It's so great. Dude, she's still in there. Ah! It's like Mario racing. Yeah, it's really, really silly. Oh my gosh, we're getting towards we the end. We should do this. No, I'm just kidding. We should that's though. so much effort. <laughs> So what do we... What, what are, man, we've got so much more news to leave you guys with uh, to enjoy. It's our birthday month? What does that mean? Is it? Oh, it's our birthday month! Greg and How I are birthday you? twins. 
Oh, really? We're both born on June 25th of 1983. Nice. Yeah. Is it the first? Within hours of each other. No, so tomorrow's the first. first. Okay, I was gonna no, say but I wrote, I, there was an article where June, there's going to be a solar and a lunar eclipse. Wow. Yeah, on the third. Double I'm like eclipse. super into ast astrology, which is whatever. It's a personal thing. But no, I like monitoring, like, all right, Saturn's going retrograde. All right, Venus is in retrograde right now. Saturn's going retrograde. You know what I mean? Like, it's subtle little gestures on your life. I love that. I love watching I when so. the moon's a wan and gibbous or like a waxing crescent or whatever. Exactly. I, love, I love following that. And full Checking moons, it. you know, people are like, oh, there's more emergency room visits on full moons and shit like that. Because you get all stoked. It's the moon's up. You're excited. Yeah. You're flopping around. There's like an energy, past. though. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like there really is an energy. It's not absolutely. what the fucking people say yeah. on the astrology sites, but there is an energy. Even shit. If it's just psychosomatic because a bunch yes. of people witnessing something exciting, it makes that you still feel counts. like it, you're in power when you yeah. can understand it, you can control it. Psychosomatic counts. Uh, yeah. No matter how you look at like energy or what you believe. auras, yeah. there's lots of people that hallucinate an aura around people that represents a way their subconscious is, rec uh, is ranking them. Yeah. And I think that's beautiful and like valuable. Whoa. And I think that's something that evo evolutionarily happened as a way of like judging the world around you. What if those people have synesthesia? I think I so. Good. I was just thinking yeah. that too. I think it's in that in that club. Dude, I wonder how we're gonna evolve with all these computers and all this news instantly on our fingertips. The emotional reaction from all these posts. Dude, just well, we're it's an echo chamber. Basically. You know what I mean? Soon, yeah. We have I've to take control of the echo the, chamber. I finally yeah. learned what echo chamber means. Well, echo chambers <laughs> happen with people that don't Shit. manage their algorithms. Okay. Echo yeah. chambers are, happen because of people being irresponsible with their intake of data. Echo and chambers just get, don't happen by like, accident. And getting comfortable just, like, reading everything that you already agree with. Yes. And, like, it is it is important to go seek out other just yeah, uh, alternative sources of information yeah. that you not, won't, might not necessarily agree with. But, yeah. you know, you don't you have to get pissed off at shit you read, you know? Just, yeah, like, read it and, do. like, assess it. <laughs> yeah. you, know, I do, you know what I mean? It's like but I do, basic yeah. instinct by yeah, now. Do. You just open up and you're like, ah. God, even if it's a subtle like sigh, it's still fucking with you. you I try to I, mean? I try to just remind myself not to wallow. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, am I That's why it's healthy to see it once in a while. I try like, not to wallow, wallow in anything too much because wallowing, uh, even in good it, stuff, it's easy to wallow, man. I'll, you know, I, but I try not to not wallow either. Like I try to give myself a little bit of wallow time. Yeah, you identify yeah. yeah. what you're dealing with. I'm gonna wallow in this for like three hours and then <laughs> I'm moving on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maximum wallow deadline. Speaking of wallowing. Uh, I'm hanging out with that Eclipse for a while, it's and I feel eclipse, like I need yeah. to chug some last things. Oh, we have to mention that carrots and sweet potatoes were airdropped on wallabies, and that stuff's really cute. Oh, yeah, because okay. the, the fire's in Australia, so they're airdropping some food in for little cute little wallabies. Uh, a coyote and a badger were filmed hunting together. It turns out that they'll sometimes Dope. hunt together in the wild. They will eat each other sometimes, but a lot of times <laughs> they can team up and... They're like, come uh, over here, bro. Well, they, 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 whoever gets it, gets it. Yeah. So they, uh, they tend to not share, but one will wrestle up cr uh, prey for the other. So the badger will get prey out of the hole, and if its prey escapes and runs, and the, the coyote gets it. Uh, the coyote will chase and wear out a, a prey until it runs in a hole, and then the badger will get it tired out of That's the hole. That's what we were talking about, though, you know, like... Working together and species is naturally. They're, they're doing, doing it that. naturally. They're not completely yeah. working together. It's not a truce where they share. Yeah. But, but just intrinsically, still, teamwork. They're individuals a, working together. Yeah. The fact that teamwork can be uh, an emergent behavior. Mm -hmm. The thing is. You guys are a wildlife podcast by now. Yes, we are. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, it's in the hashtags. Seriously. That's I've for sure. That a couple times. We yeah. are too. So, uh, emergent behaviors like that, I think, are part of why we are likely to see space aliens be good and humans be better because. There's emergent behaviors like racism that we've seen happen in people and then happen in computer algorithms. Xenophobia. Trying really? to program, computer? There's computer algorithms that are intrinsically racist, and there's major problems with them, especially in small so towns. it's natural? Oh. Uh, it's natural because yeah. it's You're just... You're scared. Well, it, what it Naturally. is, is it's, it's just a type of discrimination. Yeah, you don't know something, so you're kind of like, what the fuck? These colored berries are bad. These colored mm -hmm. berries are good. Yeah, you it's had one simple, experience, and that's but it. But you have to evolve past it. And exactly. When, so the uh, evolution outside of racism and teamwork overcoming racism is also an emergent behavior. Mm -hmm. And so we've seen that happen with people where, where today the, it's straight up illegal to discriminate against uh, things that people don't have control over. Yeah. Um, and because of that, we've kind of evolved past that. And algorithms have, um, they, they require being rewritten and require more evolved people to take control over these emergent behaviors because they're not going to just on their own emerge past that, especially yeah. when they're being used in areas where people have 
um, biases and racisms that they're putting into that. Plus, say it's like, this healthy self-defense thing. That's what people get caught in. You know, it's racism. Yeah, yeah. it's disgusting. But you know, people protect themselves. Yeah, specifically in that way. sentencing they're kinda, algorithms. They're not where aware. It's, where it's really dangerous is their algorithms that courts use to determine. Uh, how likely recidiv recidivism rate yeah. of, a, of a person committing a crime. They go back to jail, see, back to jail. Yeah. Oh, well, they're black, so they're definitely going to do the crime again, so they go to jail rather than getting um, parole. And it's because of people programming it to put these people yeah, in jail Yeah, they more. put out the or, poll, or and they're then in a they certain think that. area. Yeah, whereas obviously the skin color shouldn't be one of the characteristics that the algorithm does because yeah. you could have a lot of poverty in uh, an immigrant area. Or well, it's even noticing area. like, hey, these people are more poor. Everyone thinks that like a herd, you know what I mean? It's like a herd mentality. Like, okay, well, these people we've accepted. We got this information. Oh, yeah. That's how it all these is. These people are just supposed to be poor. It has yeah. nothing to do it's with like a generations of less opportunities. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of sad. And, you know, the riots make sense, but at the same time, they need a clear, definitive no. um, goal. Protests objective. make sense. Riots do okay, not riot, fucking okay. make sense. Protests, yeah, but the especially, cops are fucking. Especially people. riots that are made up by uh, undercover officers oh, vandalizing shit. property as a false flag. Which you know happens. Yeah, I know. I don't want to turn into that no, podcast. No, we're not doing that. But it's yeah, I'm obvious not that, that there's false flag violence turning peaceful protests into riots. So that Shit's on video, man. Yeah, because there's obviously a bias when people are rioting against a, 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 a ridiculous amount of pre police force. Even in an area where like, I really feel in my heart that like Metro is one of the better police forces. Yeah. And that we don't have as bad a police state as some places do. I know it's not perfect. I know people are going to yeah. comment about that. But um, that aside, there's still going to be a bias. You're still going to be pro-cop if you're a cop. Yeah. So there's still um, obviously more violence happening uh, just, from learning. the cops to the protesters than yeah. there should be. There's just this weird thing where we're trying to come together all as one, but we're still individuals, so it's not going to happen like that. Some people are trying sense? to come together all as those some people. Yeah, I know, and it's just weird. I get their um, anger, but it's... You know, I, they're like, fuck white people in your privilege. Dude, I'm just living. I didn't ask for this. You didn't ask for that. Why are we even commenting on it? I'm thing. sorry that you're going through this. You know what I mean? Someone, if you're going to bring up white privilege to a white yeah. person, just be polite about it. Exactly. Just be like, mm, maybe you're not considering this yes. because you grew up white. And, and I'd like, be fuck like, fuck you and fuck all white people. You know what? You're <laughs> right. Growing yeah. up, at least being Hispanic, but white passing yeah. means that I don't get some of the flack a Hispanic right. might get. That looks more Hispanic like than I do. In a relationship, I can appreciate that privilege. Bring it up to yeah. me, not with a fuck you in front of it. Exactly, like yeah. in a relationship when you're like, "Hey, honey, don't," you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta say it. When you correct. overblow white privilege, you make white people mad at you, and yeah. it doesn't help your cause. If you come out and yelling, like, dude, yeah. that's why I blew up in my forum the other day. It's like, don't fucking talk Look, to me yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting yeah. mad about the scholarships I can't get. Yeah, exactly. So there. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? You have a nice car, like, dude. I'm sorry, I don't, man. I don't I'm get sorry. to write an essay about my race and get into a college because of it. Yeah. So uh, I'm poor too, and yeah. people are like, "Fuck you!" You know, it just doesn't make sense. The thing man. is, there's a point to it's it. Racism. And it's like you're yeah. white. Fuck you. I appreciate a little uh -huh. bit of like discussion of racism yeah. and intrinsic racism, even if it comes off racist. It's I appreciate like someone bringing up something that might be against me, like heightening your awareness, like a white privilege I might have. If it's like, hey, you politely. smell, dog. You should take a shower. Like yeah. you know, you can say it nicely. You like, can say hey, it sometimes nicely. Sometimes I kind Perfect. of smell you. Perfect metaphor <laughs> for that. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me about white privilege. It's fine. Just be polite about it. Racism is smelly. Yeah. Tell them to take a shower. Talk to me about my own racism or your racism, and I'll, I'll like totally work on it and be better. As long yeah. as you're not like is being a jerk about it, yeah. Because yeah, then you you fuel racist, and also really the whole nice. word, yeah. the whole word racism is getting so weakened by calling like no. mildly almost racist stuff racist or people racist that aren't. No. Then real racists can just go and then fly if you easy. get accused of racism, you can't be like, well, I, have, I love black people. <laughs> you know, then that just makes it worse. There's nowhere you can go. You just it's, gotta, it's a fail, fail. It's a w lose, lose. You just gotta apologize and move on. I'm yeah. sorry if that came off racist. I didn't mean that's it like a life thing. So though. you gotta just onward. like deal with it and go on. Obviously, yeah. like I'm not default state super racist, so I'm gonna let my yeah, character dude. just be Let's my get character. Over this. Yeah. yeah, fuck racism. <laughs> Seriously, though, fuck racism. That's it. Yeah, and fuck In people using the term racist for people that like weakens the term. Yeah. Like you just flippantly call people racist, then real racists get Try to articulate get, get it more. Free. You know what I mean? Don't just say racism. Just be like, hey, this is what I'm thinking. Did you guys, if you haven't seen the new spacesuits, sorry, non sequitur. Hell yeah. <laughs> if you haven't seen the new spacesuits, uh, they're so sick. They look like total future spacesuits. 
I, I mean, Elon Musk see, is that he, he has to me they, they yeah. look like these are musky they look like future <laughs> spacesuits if it was the future from like 10 years ago that, yeah he has like a fetish for that I've noticed you know like they, I mean well they finally look like spacesuits that aren't from dope, the 80s yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Yeah. I haven't seen an astronaut be in a spacesuit that looks like it was designed after it's like 1969 the idea from the 80s right. but it's Probably. not the 80s it's finally innovation and something that every, everything else is innovated but spacesuits still look like crap these ones finally look like they've actually shrunk down some I think they had like a live stream of the whole thing. Imagine being on the first fucking, you know. I know I'm, I'm bummed I missed it live. The whole time. But it's going good so far, as far as I know. Yeah. I'm gonna check in on it later. I'm being a bad musker. So are, are these ones that you could like do a spacewalk in these, right? These aren't just like. You could be in, sp in a spacewalk. You <laughs> need. You are those need moon boots? I need to know. <laughs> in, in a spacewalk, you need the backpack because the backpack has thrusters. Okay. Yeah. But uh, that's like insulated enough, and it, yeah. it passes all the. You can all be right. in space in these though. You all can right, be nice. in a vacuum. All yeah. right. That's all right. I was telling Tiffany earlier, like, musky related. I just want a Tesla one day. I don't even know what, what the fucking... I don't even... I'm not a Tesla guy. I just, you know, that's I, like a status thing. I briefly saw a bald eagle that was taken out of the sky by okay. a loon. Uh, more, more wildlife news. What's this no mind control, sadly? This isn't... Oh, uh, some... There is some... Parasitic, new, parasitic fungi. Fungus, Damn. yeah. Ew, it's Ew. so gross up close. That's so cool. It looks like a piece of chicken. And I think because there's those... What are those, inside you. what are those ones that... Cordyceps? Cordyceps. To like take control of insects and make them like crawl up to oh, height yeah. and then they sprout. That's sick. Thing spreads. Yeah. I was thinking that. I wonder if there's one of those for humans, but no. That's yeah. what I mean though. The bugs that can't like mobilize, they figure out ways to like lure you in. It's like survival. Using you for mobility. Trippy. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cool. Life finds a way. You know what I mean? Oh, no. So we will always find uh, a way. Whenever you get like bummed out, that's we what will. I go to. Like, you will find a way. I'm going to keep breathing. So Some I might humans get over will. This. Until yeah. we don't. When, yeah. So we, until you don't keep on keeping on. Were we live at the beginning when I was talking about my quantum leap technique? Okay, so like... Yeah, 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 every day is a quantum leap. Yeah, I try <laughs> to think about being Scott Was. Bakula and waking up in the morning. Just do it. Just, my spirit just dropped into this body fresh. Like, what do I do with what this guy left me? Start running, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, what did this guy leave for me to deal with as a life? And That's I just so try to take it from the morning and try to run with it as far yeah, as I like can. Yeah, like your objectives, like not I'm going to get coffee and be like, what the fuck yeah. is really going on well, in my you, surroundings? You think about tomorrow's person as a different person. That's why yeah. it's so easy to put the, put things off for this other person to deal with. Somebody said uh, when you imagine yourself the next day or in a week or at the job you want, it's almost like you seeing the future, you are making the future. That not only really that, but you think about that as another person that can yeah, deal with is. stuff separately your from future you. Self. But if you try to hook that person up, yeah, you're way like better off because otherwise you'll screw that person. You'll be like, yeah. whatever. That's oh yeah, every day, man. Another mm -hmm. person's yeah, problem. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Like, fuck, fuck that guy. I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> it's terrible. Like, work so on that. It's like fut future, future Greg. Me. What do I fucking <laughs> yeah. care? You guys, ain't the future yet, buddy. Yeah, dude, I got to think of future Brian, Daddy Brian. This <laughs> trip. That's gonna be sick. You're gonna be a fun dad. Yeah. Just you wanna know his name? What's that? River Young after Rivers Cuomo. Nice. And, uh, but Neil River Young. singular? Yeah, River. Just I River. like River better than Rivers. That's she a good said name. it and I kind of laughed. I was like, whatever. And I'm like, all right, River. River Young, that's cool. I like yeah, River I Young. Yeah. yeah. Fun little fact. Wow, dude. Is this yeah, an announcement? We're having a moment? Are we announcing yeah, a baby I'm name? I'm going to have my air? first son, dude. Yeah, dude. River Young Gibson. Have you announced the son? No. On, on, online at all? No, I haven't. I've announced the. This uh, is a Gracie exclusive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, dude, uh, she's... Dude, that's major. Four months right, pregnant. RadioVegas.rock, stick, stick around for the next show. Don't go. RadioVegas.rock's from the video feed for more entertainment to hang out, hang with you during the day. Hell yeah. That one's not live. I'm going to start streaming on just these ones. Because okay. I have a feeling that Cox it's might be much. literally shadow banning all that uploading. Uh oh. I Why think it's too much. It's probably in some fine print. Oh. I, I guarantee it is. Because yeah. they've had an excuse Dude, for everything I've called them about. I miss the band crazy conversation. Oh, I'm, you were I'm, good at angry, that, bro. I'm, I'm angry at a few things more. You were one of the first people that was saying in songs that I did with the zine I had of Reason is Love. I, I had thought like, format such a good idea. We yeah, just sort of nuggets. Again. You're like, oh, the, I saw a car today. It's like, whoa, <laughs> dude, that's, that's profound. But it feels it's like how you're thinking. It's like that. Yeah. Um, it's such a relatable mundanity that it feels music, big. You want to listen to this music, but it doesn't have the talking. 
You want to hear the yeah. talking, but yeah, it doesn't have anything else. Into the background, so the talking gives you uh, yeah. a foreground element, and then they rise and fall together. Yeah. Yeah. So that's coming back hard because the other two bandmates, their kids are older now. Sweet. Yeah. And we've got a rehearsal space now, so that's another team. Is this a rehearsal space? If I had some kind of music in here, could that be done? Well, you, we'd have to hire a producer, yeah. And it'd have to be small. Yeah. I'm yeah. only 50 bucks an episode as I a know, producer, yeah. you guys. You if see I what keep I'm my doing with two clueless dudes? You see, it's a, it's a factory that makes podcast success. So holla, your boy. Dude, $50 yeah. a week to use the broadcast studio? That's nothing. A show, you can have a show. We'll even give you two hours for that. It's supposed to be an hour a week, 50 bucks. You can get the Waz special. We'll, we'll, we'll slide something, maybe 40. We're flexible. We'll do that for you, but I'm 50 an uh, episode. Nice. And it's great. You, Dude, that's... All right, cool. Uh, it, I can set you up with your website on Squarespace, which is $16 a month for $200. I'll set that up for you. Uh, fill in all the boxes and 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 check boxes. And Your sites are pretty sick. For. I'm not gonna lie. Your sites are amazing. Thank you, thank you. I there's, do like there's them. a, a uh, quite a collection of them now. If you go yeah. to Waz. Radio LOL, Vegas. Yeah, yeah RadioVegas.rocks is is the new site for that. Is one of mine. Mm -hmm. You can see a whole suite of my umbrella entities at woz.lol. There's probably about half the sites and businesses I work with are on there. It's like the main ones. So it's a nice portfolio if you're looking for that kind of thing. Now, the $200 thing is for uh, setting up a podcast website. Those are easy to do. Um, there's just a lot of things to fill in to make YouTube and Spotify and – I'm sorry, iTunes and Spotify take it in as a podcast with the posting. But I'll even include the updating of it per episode for the 50 a week and holla. More complicated stuff. I might need to build more. There's Scope Creep. Uh, Two Clues Dudes did some other promo. There was another couple hundred. But hella worth it. And, you know, that's the end of my plug. Plug at the tail. Uh, <laughs> and thanks for watching this. I'm going to upload this now. Shout out to Steve Ansible. Hey, hey. Um, Whoa. Totally. I agree with you. All right. See you guys.